All right, so tonight we are here for our Ghostbusters one-shot. And I'm going to ask everybody to quickly go around and tell me when they first saw Ghostbusters and who they are playing tonight. Mikey, you want to start? Who, when did you first see Ghostbusters that you can recall, and who were you playing? Uh, Ghostbusters, 1984. I was a sophomore in high school. Um, and we saw it at a drive-in. It was a bunch of my friends. I'll never forget it. What's a drive-in? There were like 20 of us. We had two pickup trucks. Everybody was hanging out Pick in the back of the pickup trucks. And tonight, I'm playing Winston Zedmore. <laughs> Jeff. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm Lewis Tully. Oh, wait, no, he was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. That was nine. <laughs> Adam? Uh, Adam playing Ray Stance. I think I saw it in a friend's house. It was with my parents and their parents. I don't know, I was young. And I'd heard about it a lot before I ever saw it. Bob? It was 1984. I think I was 11 years old, and I was at Joey Constantino's birthday party. Oh. And uh, we all climbed into the movie theater, and there was a tall person in front of me, and I said, uh, "Josh is there? Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Did you know that somebody threw up in that chair in the in the previous showing?" And he gave this me this weird look, and he got up and he moved to a different scene. And then I had an unobstructed view of Ghostbusters, and it was really good. Social hacking in 1984. Kevin McNichol would be proud. And I, I am uh, Egon Spengler this evening. Chris? I did not see it at a uh, birthday party. <laughs> uh, I don't think I saw it until later in the 90s, as a matter of fact. I don't think I saw it until then. Um, and I'm Peter Venkman. As the GM, I will state that, uh, much like Jeff and Chris, I can't recall actually seeing it. Definitely not in the theater. Definitely uh, on TV probably a hundred times, as recently as the second half two days ago. <laughs> this video game for the Commodore 64. I had it for the Atari XL, and you just all you heard when you drove in the car was this. Was this? Yes. Theme song. <laughs> and then it would start over. <laughs> That's right. And then I had to jump through the legs of State Park Marshmallow. I was right. sore. Yeah, yeah I did that hard. recently. It took me 20 tries with save state for those. I like how you, you had to just move them in closer to get the ghost. You, this guy. Yeah. And then this guy. And the guy on the right. And the guy on the left. And the yep. screens. And, the, and, the and then it goes. And, and, and sometimes the ghost would fly yeah. off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> or else you'd screw up and you'd send both guys pointing to the same. And so you got to bring this one guy yeah. back all the way over. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was just playing it. Everything. Was like, I had no idea how to play it. I was like, all right, found a hole. Oh, it's like 1982. I can't tell you how many times. I got out of the hole, I fell the hole. and then immediately fell back in the hole. I got out of the hole, I immediately fell back in the hole. Why did they bury right. 700 copies? So, copies? guys, my only request for the night, remember, this one's for fun and games and laughs. Don't give me a hard time about oddities or general goofiness. It's the Ghostbusters. Anything can happen. As long as it uh, stays true to... What's, this, what's the book? Book? Tobin Spirit Guy? Tobin Spirit Guy, I think we'll be okay. All right. And are we ready to be in, then? All right. You want to put a hand in? <laughs> Ghostbusters! Uh, Mikey can't hear it, but it's the actual music right at the beginning of the, of the uh, oh, is this movie. Oh, in the New York Public Library? It is. So, it's been a pretty quiet, normal day. A free repeater earlier in the morning, and then some well-deserved downtime. And then the phone rings. You know what that means. Ghostbusters, what do you want? A minute later, the bell sounds and you head for the fire pole. You guys should try this out. <laughs> Wait, I was just finishing my experiment. It's going to be interrupted now. Hey, God, come on, let's go. <laughs> for those of you who are curious, we are playing Savage Worlds. And the rule has been any effective use of a Ghostbusters quote yields you a Benny. I expect these guys will have more Bennies than they can count. I plan on abusing this one. Oh. <laughs> well... Winston only has like six quotes in the whole movie. So. You, you, don't you, you don't have to quote yourself. You don't have to quote yourself. You can quote anybody. Who are you going to oh, quote? Okay. okay. Suck in the guts, guys. Suck in the guts, guys. <laughs> Let's get to this job. I'm more excited than I'm capable of a rational thought right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can't abuse that one too much. All right, you've been called to Wally's Rollerama. <laughs> Wait a minute. It, it, are we in the 80s or the 90s? Because <laughs> if we're going to a... Uh, Watch them call it a roller rink. Then I totally feel like we should be in the 80s. This place. Smells this is the 80s. Place. It's the Ghostbusters. No, I, so. In the 90s, I went to a, 
As you pull up in Ecto-1, you see a sign outside that says it's Disco Night! <laughs> a large group of people are gathered outside, most dressed in their best boogie attire, all of them wearing skates. Oh dear God. I never mixed well with people like this. This neighborhood looks like it's a demilitarized zone. Hey, I don't know what you guys are waiting for, but let's get in there. There's a chick over there. You were always good with the girls. <laughs> the rest of us had to work. I you know what? I worked. Because I had a job growing up as a, uh, in a skate rink. <laughs> I used to clean all the shoes. That was, that was my job. I found that if I used, uh, I used to be able to get the um, D louser from, not from Ajax, but from the uh, market down the street, I could buy in bulk, and if I did that, I could save about 50 cents per can. <laughs> you know, Lewis, if you could excite me any further, I'd be brain dead right now. <laughs> Why am I with you guys? <laughs> Come on, let's go see what the job is. All right, getting to the door, you are informed that... No street shoes on the floor. Skates only. I don't do skates. No but street shoes on the floor. Skates only. I'm in. <laughs> Size four. Don't, don't, don't say anything. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can walk the perimeter. That's good. No, you're not inside. Holding it. Okay. Remember what I said? Roll with it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, now I know what you meant. <laughs> use, my persuasion. use my persuasion. No. <laughs> Hopefully you be from something like a default. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 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 Adam dies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we put on our skates. After skating up, After skating up you finally enter the rink, which I have a I did it once when I was five years old at a birthday party. I have an appropriate picture for a disco skate rink. I, I just want you to know, Winston is very adept at skating. <laughs> That's one of his actual skills. Oh, it's yeah. his knowledge skating. Roller derby. <laughs> knowledge roller derby. Wow. Roller derby, no That's a very festive, very uh, 1982-ish hmm. looking scene right there. Isn't Google great? Yeah, I got, we got hardwood floors, we've got disco balls, there's a uh, colored barn. It's like a gypsy wedding. <laughs> what's, what's, quite, what's quite scary is I used to go to that place like that all the time. <laughs> he still does. The disco music is still playing away, the lights and balls are spinning, everything looks like there should be a party going on, except no one's there. E Where? Egon pulls out his PK meter and opens it up and activates it. Where, what's a PK reading? I'm looking at the readings right now. All right, they're they're slightly elevated. There's definitely some paranormal activity going on. I would say that they're slightly to the, elevated. Uh, to the bar. There's definitely some there's no bar. Sort of paranormal activity going on. <laughs> there's a DJ booth, but there's not an actual bar. I head to the DJ booth. <laughs> All right, give me a notice check. <laughs> I took it. You took it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I barely squeeze notice. <laughs> Seven. Seven. You notice. Um, I have investigation too, by the way. Oh, Ooh. wait a minute. Sorry. I got investigation as well. <laughs> yes, Adam? I wanted you to finish what he noticed. Oh, you uh, <laughs> you think you see the ghost inside the, the DJ booth. You kind of see something bobbing around on there that's a little too fast. I'm sorry, I put down my ecto goggles and look in the booth. We've, we've done this before, right? We're, we're yeah. veteran guys now. Yes. Ah, oh. oh, guys, we've got a Goldberg over, over there. Are you sure? I seem to remember in ancient Babylonian societies, there was a creature that all people worshipped. They were in charge, the high priest in charge of killing others. Perhaps that's what is within that DJ booth. Well, if it has red hair and fire coming out of its butt and it's eating records, well then, yeah. You got my wife halfway there. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Did you say Babylonian or Sumerian? <laughs> Here, I'll give you one of my venues for that. <laughs> Well, if he's playing disco, you can't like be trying to either. Mm. Not a big red guy either. Kill me That's why I'm telling it all. Is there any regular beer? You have to go in the basement for that. Or there's a PBR over there. There might be one more beer in our no, fridge. She said regular so. beer. I know. Uh, all right, so as as uh, Peter Bankman approaches, the ghost flies out and begins flying around the room, weaving in and out of the disco balls. One, two, three. Blast them! <laughs> and we should have Get initiative. Out. Get out your sticks, boys. 
Made hard. Oh man, I didn't. I didn't add characters. We're just gonna deal cards tonight. Okay. That deal looks cards. Like a type seven ectomorph. Ray, look what you make. Ray? Yeah, definitely. Ray, you know what it is. <laughs> Ray, what is it? It's definitely your basic focus non-terminal repeating phantasm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. This one's going to be a messy one, boy. Oh, let me get the little board here first. Yeah, sorry. You're good. This crap's so weird, it'll turn you white. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the board's got to be important if we're moving the whiskey. Do you want some before I put away? No, I got some. I'm trying to take it easy tonight. Like the last time? Relatively well, speaking. We break out that bottle last time? Oh, yeah, right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that bottle was new to me. Were you really? <laughs> He better. Well, I was there. No, he was here. All right, so Chris is dealing all the cards. Adam. Oh, no, 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 no. Face up for, for the name, guys. Face up for Adam. No. Two of spades. Oh. Bob is three. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, so four. Just shuffle these. I did shuffle. Joel, don't, Joel doesn't get one. <laughs> and I get one. Oh. oh. So, um. The ghost is going. The first. ghost has a jack, and everybody else has a seven or less. Does anybody have quickness as a. Uh, Edge? I don't think so. Okay. All right. I have combat reflexes. <laughs> yeah, what is, no, that could be something. Doesn't that give you two cards? <laughs> combat reflexes? No. I think... No. It gives me a plus two to my spirit rolls. Oh. That makes sense. Your guy is very spiritual. Winston, do you recall? Yes, he is very spiritual. All right, so... The uh, ghost flies around... And uses its limited telekinetic powers to pick up a pair of skates and hurl them at Egon. No, oh, Egon. Oh, God. So, Egon, I'm going to say that I have to roll a... Spence, I guess that's a throw. Out. Are we all on skates right now? You're all on skates? That's nice. So... Did you bring ecto goggles? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were all on skates, so... Agility. That means um, agility on a failure. You're at minus two for all your die rolls for the round. So everyone make your Jody check right now. The ghost flies. He doesn't need that. And on a critical failure, please make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, we have to track, we have to say which is our wild die and which is our, what we call die. This is, a, this is unrelated to your action. This is just to see how you perform on the skates. Oh, so we just need one die, right? And and you, four. No, no, agility is still a... Agility and six. your wild die. Yeah. Okay. Your wild die. So anybody who... I rolled a six. I rolled a four. Four. What's the you roll? Lewis takes the first step out onto the wood, falls flat on his face, oh, and his no. pack goes across the, uh... <laughs> you want to do the old Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Double ones? Oh, man. Critical failure? Critical failure? Oh, my God. You know, and in the Ghostbusters, you almost want to keep it. <laughs> yeah. You get a penny for keeping it. So... Yeah, you get a penny for keeping it, that's true. So, uh, a five oh, is my throw, so it, it does actually hit Egon. This yeah. pair of skates. Um, I'm going to call that basically just a D6, I think. Well, strength out of that. All right, I'll give a D6 plus strength. Yeah, just throw. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Egon, 11. Egon has a toughness of 5. Yeah, a toughness of 6. So, oh, I have a toughness of 6? No. Uh -huh. Ah, because Peter Bankman is So you are shaken there, knocked down and shaken? I, uh, I but hold the line, does. Um, you need to, maybe you need well, to hold the line. My toughness is six, and you rolled an eleven. Yes, it's still shaking like in one wound. Right? No. Oh yeah, because yes. it's plus four. Because it's plus four. So you, yeah, you took a wound. It's a. It opens up a big scratch across your forehead. Unless I can soak it. Are you sure? I have. Use I those bennies. I have command too. Plus one to troops recovering from being shaken. Oh, that'll be very helpful right yeah, now. You're not recovering from shaking. You're trying to soak. Soak. Yeah. It's oh wait, different. I'm not recovering from shaking. I'm it's just not very helpful right now either. So that's a bigger roll. Is a D6? Yes. Plus your wild Plus wild die. Plus your Benny. It's like you've been there. Oh, yeah. and my Benny goes back to you. Rough. That'll be free flowing. Ooh. Ooh. I Ooh. rolled an exploding six. I can't see that. What was that? A total of nine. Sarcasm. So you made it with a race, so you are... Are you, are you unscathed. I'm unscathed. Right, I am the, 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 the wheel hits you and actually rolled across, leaving a stark strip across your forehead. God, I... Oh, I was going to say that the, the skate got stuck in his hair. <laughs> God, I hate this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing those goggles were on uh, his forehead to yeah. protect it. Yes, Bankman. <laughs> You're up. Oh, right. 
Woo-hoo. Proton pack time. Proton pack time. Oh, you got that good. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a shooting roll. A shooting roll. I'm gonna taunt him first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say you blue-bellied, slimy son of a gun. It's the last time you spray a guy with a positron collider. If you're gonna do anything, spin a record for me. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, man. And then you're gonna shoot as well. Yeah, why not? So there's a multi-action. You're gonna minus two on. He's not out his taunting. That's fine. Yeah. I think he he has an edge where he's he carrying that. Spread there. there. So no, no, no. I look. I get the red. He didn't actively make a taunt. He just said the words. No, no, I'm taunting. Oh, he's, he's, roll, he's rolling your taunt. Oh, oh, roll your taunt then. Oh, roll your taunt then. If you're going to taunt. Oh, okay. If no, you're, I do have a plus one taunt. That's strong will. Yeah, strong will. The carrots. <clears throat> there you go. This is it. Carrots, man. So much better. Like the real carrots versus the carrots. No, I have the carrots. He's actually having a smooth taunt. All right, so you taunt with a race that gives you plus two on your next roll. Yeah, that's fine. It's at a minus two. Plus two, minus two. Because you're going to do a shooting. You're going to shoot as well. That allows you, because you're doing two things, each action is at a minus two. There's right. not a lot of effect to taunting a ghost. I thought taunting shakes somebody. I don't know. No, we, we, we looked that up, at, I think it used to, uh, but now it, just, it, it, it gives you a plus two next time. Okay. What's intimidate do then? Same thing. Dang! Uh, intimidate. You're not going to shake with it. Right. So shooting, right? We're going to do yes. a little shooting in the air. And that's at a negative two, right? Yes, sir. Uh, but you get a plus two because you just successfully taunted, so it's no penalty. It's just fun. Uh, three. So your Prozatron Collider plus two. Your, your post out fact hits the disco ball and sparks, sparks everywhere, hitting some of you. More of a happy, tingly feeling. Yeah, nope. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Next up is. It's okay, the floor broke the Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Six is seven, so now Jeff. I mean, uh, Lewis Tully. Lewis Tully, who's face down. Lewis is going to make an agility check to try to get up. <laughs> Out of skates. <laughs> seven. Ooh. Lewis hops back up, skates over to his pack. Attempts to skate over to his pack and pick up his pack and put it back on his back. Does <laughs> agility check to do that? <laughs> And Lewis right. succeeds in getting his pack back on. Yeah, pack on. Yep. Well done. <laughs> Next up is... That was Lewis on the... Uh, where did he go? Lewis was a four. The next number is three. That is Egon. What did Mikey end up with? Oh, Mikey's got a three also. Mike, wait, Spades versus clubs. Spades first. So Spades actually, first. Winston. Michael. Winston, you are up. Winston. He's going to... Uh, Pull out his proton pack and uh, give a shot. See if he can uh, snare this ghoul, and then we can uh, put this thing to bed. Using his wand. It's called a wand. The gun is part of the wand. Yeah, it's called a wand or a stick. So you're going to shoot. He rolls a eight. Eight. So he successfully entraps the ghost in his proton stream. With a rake. Somebody's yes. got to not throw out the uh, pack. Trap it. So here, here, here's how it works. Uh, so the ghost now... I uh, forget how this works. You need, you need The more people who do it, the ghost gets a minus two for every every beam on it. Guys, the ghost gets a minus two for every beam on it when you try to open the trap. Uh, he gets a spirit check in that case. Okay. At the okay. at, On his turn, he can also make a spirit check to try to break it free. Once again, a minus two for every beam on him. So by putting a second beam or a third beam on him, so you're, be more you're, you're much more likely to get him in the trap. So we have two more people after Winston. So it seems to make sense that one of us should try to rope it again, and then the third person can trap it, perhaps. Or maybe even we wait until next round and hope that the ghost is not the first beam still last, though? Yeah, the beam holds as long as you want to. Can, can, you can just try to break free of it. Egon, what are you doing? Nice job, Winston. Hold the steady. Well, by my calculations, we'll have a better chance of trapping it if we can at least assign two proton packs to it. You gotta so, just shoot it. Okay. Oh. Yippee ki yay. I got a book I gotta read. Eat proton. <laughs> and with that, he fires at the ghost. The shooting is uh, uh, not great. To be said. Jeff, too much time. Too much alcohol. Too much. We're doing this game. And he got a two. So. So once again, the. Sparkles hit the 
Disco ball. Critical failure in the area. We cross the stream. We'll have to find out what happens on a critical failure. Ray! What are you doing, Ray? I got him. I got him. You're welcome to throw... Uh, throwing out a trap is a... Throwing out and activating a trap is one action. Okay. I'll give you that. It's one action. Yeah. It's one whole action. All right. Ooh. Are you shooting it or... I was shooting it. Ray, narrow... Actually, yeah. <laughs> Betty one coming in. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, move this first to counter along. We've got to get to the fun part. Ah, five. 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 So, Ray... Are there bonuses to hit when it's already moved? I don't know. I would consider it shaken at that point. Mm. Okay. So, so anyway, Ray, Ray encapsulates it as well. So you have two beams on it, and deal some new cards. Yeah. You back up with the cards, my friend. We have two packs or one pack? Don't Just the one. I'll get, there's another one over there if you need it. Don't, don't, don't shuffle. shuffle. And he goes on the side. Good job. We, we only shuffle on the... Uh, we only shuffle on the Joker. Joker. Ray, nine. Egon, ten. Lewis, eight. Who got the ace? Oh. Uh, Chris. Uh, Bankman. 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 Bankman got the ace. There's two on him, Bankman. You got to throw out the trap? Yeah, who, throw who, the trap. Who are the people who have him? We are Ray the and Egon have him. Okay. I just want to make sure he wasn't one of the ones who was... What Give me the quote. Give me the quote, Bob. That would be throwing? Um. Dude, I probably should have took that. <laughs> Whoa, 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 I shouldn't text. No. I should have. The, the quote was, shorten your stream, I want you to burn my face off. Oh. Uh, what is it? <laughs> short... I've been shorten the stream, I want you to burn my face off. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice. Too late. I'm not giving you, a, I'm not giving you anybody for that one. I'm not as well at this point. Uh, just give me, a, give me a throwing. Hold on, maybe I did take throwing. No, Bob. <clears throat> I did not want to be throwing. So D6 and a D4 minus two to both. And a one. So, so Vankman throws at the trap. It rolls over onto its side. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, King. That would be Winston. Let's reverse the deck. Winston, you, you, can, you can adjust his trap or try to throw your own. Or you can do well, something Winston's else. Winston's holding the ghost. Can you do that? No, you two are holding the ghost. Winston's no, Winston, Winston and Ray are holding the ghost. Sorry. Yeah. So, Winston, you have, you have to continue holding the ghost unless you want to let go of that and do something else. No, I'm, I'm good hanging out to the ghost. All right. Next up. Uh, now it's uh, Egon. So Egon will uh, grab the trap that was thrown and slide it underneath and activate it. Okay. Is that okay? That's fine. You can straighten it out. All right. So he tilts it back upwards and positions it appropriately. The trap opens. Egon, don't look at the trap. Ah! <laughs> look at the trap, right? Yeah. The, the, the trap opens. The disco balls light up. The place is brighter than the sun for a second. As the you have to be right underneath the disco ball, the ghost is sucked in, and he's gone. You know, I went to a bar mitzvah that reminded me of this place. <laughs> and if you guys see the, you see Lewis just slowly skating. <laughs> <laughs> Not moving his feet at all. Just, just slowly skating. Right, right across the background. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm ready. Good job, Lewis. Really, guys? Good job. All right. As on a, a taunt, it's a test of wills it's versus smarts. And a success means the attacker gets a plus two bonus on his next action against the defender. And a raise gives the attacker a bonus and makes the defender shaken as well. Oh. So if you raise on your taunt, it is shaken. He did raise, so it would have been shaken. He would have raised if it wasn't for the minus two for a multi-action. But then oh, bump. Good point. Good point. Good point. point. Multi-action is a killer. All right, so you've got the ghost trapped. You're on your skates. It's disco night. I throw it over my shoulder. and walk to the, uh, the skate. Guy. Skate. I skate over to so the guy know. and ask him, you, uh, you know, how much charge. No, how, yeah, how much? How much? Uh, how much was that to get rid of that uh, for you? Well, how, how how much do we owe you, sir? Egon holds up uh, two palms, <laughs> which show ten digits. That'd be ten thousand dollars. Whoa! 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 Egon shakes his head <laughs> and he holds up ten again. Uh. That'd be a hundred dollars. That'd be a hundred dollars. You've got a cheap old Shakes his head again. <laughs> <laughs> you got, can you open your mouth, please? A thousand dollars. That'd be a thousand dollars. All and right. Unlimited skate for a year for us. You got that. There you go, guys. Well, I oh, no, you I get the practice. I won't pay it. 
Now you get to practice. <laughs> I can tell you very certainly that I will never come back here again. <laughs> you can bring one of your dates. You can put a book on skates. The <laughs> next time I have a date, I'll bring her here. So as I said, I will never come here again. Exactly. <laughs> do, you, do you still have some of that uh, the magnetic slime? Maybe you would like to do some roller disco. I do have some of that slime. We should try that out next week. That's a good idea. Yeah. A good experiment. Like you could slime the skates and see what happens. The psychosympathetic properties of the slime, combined with the psychotic tendencies of the people in this disco, could make for a very interesting reaction. <laughs> when he said psychosympathetic, forget about it. <laughs> do you guys stay and party the night away, or do you head on back to the headquarters? Oh, I'm partying. Well, it depends. Are there women there? there well, there were women outside who are coming back in yeah, now. He's and you are heroes. <laughs> if there is an overly tall woman that I can disco dance with, <laughs> on, skates? on skates? On skates? Maybe we start dancing every we also start dancing start too. <laughs> Hang on one second. Adam's going to have this stack of chips bigger than me in front of him. Hang on. Hang on. He guy's going to sit and nurse a beer off on the side. Hey, you know what? Ray will have a beer too. He likes a beer. Can, you smoke it? can I smoke in here? It's, it's the 80s. You can smoke everywhere. <laughs> Lewis is dancing. Ray's got a cigarette. Ray, uh, Lewis, give me an agility check, please. Since you're on skates, <laughs> everybody's on skates still. Oh yeah. Does he not have a drink? I'm smoozing the uh, three thirds by the uh, skating around. around. All right, so you guys, Mikey, you you skating, you hanging out. What are you doing? You on the prowl? I'm out there, I'm out there boogieing. All right, give me your agility check. Make sure you don't fall down. Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. So Winston has channeled his inner child and is um, back flipping along. He's doing one of these. He's doing. He's skating on one skate. He's down on the four. He's carrying Lewis for a while. He's skating backwards. It's Venkman. He can do anything. No, that was that was Winston. He's got he's got rhythm. He's got the rhythm. You know Isaac Newton never touched his entire life. He was a virgin. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, if I ever need to invent calculus, I'll go back and make myself a virgin again. I think his calculus could have been much better if he had a beer or two. <laughs> so you guys party the night away. Uh, a hole in return to headquarters. And uh, Winston and Lewis lose the toss. That's to put the trap in the containment unit. The rest of you get to turn in a few minutes earlier. Remember, guys, blood is free, trap is clean. <laughs> you killing know, me here, dude. You're killing me. You're all just out there having fun. I had no fun when I was a kid. You know, my parents gave me toys. They only gave me one toy. They gave me a slinky. You know what I did with it? You took it apart. I straightened it out. <laughs> that's in there, isn't it? That's in, that's in two. <laughs> you, got, you know, the, um, the pharmacy over on 4th Street has slinkies on sale. You buy three of them for fourteen ninety five. Where if you were to buy those same three slinkies over at uh, the CVS mm -hmm. on Broadway, yeah, that would cost you almost twenty dollars. Thanks, thanks, Lewis. Yeah, if I'm ever if I'm ever back in nineteen fifty five, I will remember that. Hey, you got yeah. Do you think any of the women here are digging that large fan of yours? I think that they uh, might be. Appreciating my epi you know, epidemic more than my life. For, for the record, Bob is wearing a white button down shirt. It's oh, untucked yeah. and open. It looks like a lap jacket. <laughs> Was that nice. But he did GM for noticing. <laughs> Dude, I don't need him. You guys. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, and goggles. Um, glasses, all right, so you guys wake up the next morning and you wake up feeling extraordinarily drained, more tired than you have ever felt before. There's something wrong. Guys, those skates, they really take a lot out of you. Her name was Vicky. <laughs> uh, you, you remember her name this time? <laughs> well, so, triplets. Should I have some coffee? I think you should have some. No, you should not have any <laughs> Thank you, yeah, yes. <laughs> maybe you should... Uh, Maybe you should well, test your, your doohickey, see if we were exposed to anything. No, or... I just think that we all just had too much to drink and we need some coffee. That's what I'm making this morning. So you have your coffee and you are not any perkier. 
I'm still sleeping. All right, Lewis. Okay, you may have something here. Let me take a PKE reading. What do you get, Ray? The PKE reading is actually a, a negative value. Like there's something missing. It's, it's not... <clears throat> <laughs> what, what's going on, Ray? You're hitting the equipment. Please don't hit the equipment. I spent a lot of time on that. If it breaks, I can fix it. But I think I need to fix it. Look, the needle is actually in the negative. We've never tested this equipment, and that's entirely my fault. I accept full responsibility for that. <laughs> You're supposed to slide away now. <laughs> Away slowly in an elevator, worried about Mister Explosion. <laughs> What's what is it telling you? It, it's almost like that. There's a, a ne there's a dirt. A, it, there's an opposite effect of the of the PK energy. That's impossible. What's the opposite of psychokinetic energy? Energy psychokinetic. Psychopotential energy. Thanks, Franklin. You never studied. <laughs> You're not you're killing me at that one. You're not getting that one. You have a giant stack in front of you. Bend them away. I, Listen, if we I heard, think it's psychotic kinetic energy. If you need a stool sample, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. You can have one just for that one. <laughs> Reminding me I that think actually it's in there. It's actually a, a quote. You and a pot of chili and lots of stool samples. <laughs> the highlight of my academic career. <laughs> Oh, you mean it wasn't when he got us kicked out of uh, Columbia? I still haven't forgiven him for that. You guys had the best time of your lives. Yeah, but you remember that mortgage? My parents bought me that house. I was born there. And look where you are now. Look what we're doing now. Yeah, down to two mortgages. <laughs> it is a very You're killing nice, me. nice station. I, I have to agree. That was a wise investment. All right, so maybe we want to do an investigative check on what's going on. I got to do that. So Egon hands out some books to the guys who don't normally do work. So says, read through these, see if you find anything interesting. I, I will be searching through the... Uh, I think I found oh, something. So. Paranormal 10. Is this straight investigation or can I tweak this to be a paranormal Straight investigation. You can do it either way. Either way. I rolled, I rolled a 13 on my investigation, Josh. Okay. It. I'll do it on train. I'm letting Adam roll his mic before I tell you what happens. Okay. Don't reshuffle, Chris. Not until we get a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, All right, so... Ray looks at the technical specs of the PKE meter, and it comes out as looking like it's working okay. Egon, what'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a two. You can you work with Ray <laughs> to realize that, damn it, the technology actually works. Meanwhile, the, the books you hand out to the other three, it's and they they piece together they piece together the most ludicrous thing you've ever heard. I've got my book like this. <laughs> Part of everyone's soul was ripped from their bodies and deposited in the trap, which has now been deposited in the containment unit. Oh, dear God. Uh, I didn't have much soul to begin with. Guys, Winston, guys, I don't want you to worry, but this this is kind of bad. Somebody okay, said... I was buzzing this whole good bad. <laughs> say it? Would somebody else say the quote so I don't have to keep giving you out of the same bennies over and over again? <laughs> You know, I waited. You get one, too, because you seeded it. I waited. I tried, man. Chris, we didn't do our homework. I didn't know. I didn't even know the quotes of this. Sharing wasn't prepared. I spent it all on long fay, guys. What was that? Sharing wasn't prepared. How could he do his homework? Sharing didn't do his homework for him. I watched both movies with my kids and then went back and watched certain parts again to make sure... All right, so that is the conundrum. We've lost a piece of our souls, which I know, Lewis, for you, it really doesn't make much of a difference. But for the rest of us, it's it's a conundrum. It's um, but you will die within within a week or so without having all of your soul intact. But I do have some bad news. Uh, Worse news? Well, yeah, I think uh, without correcting this issue, there's a small, slightly small chance. Uh, an infinitesimally small chance that we will all be dead within six days. I mean, small, I, I mean like 99% chance <laughs> that we are going to be dead within six days. Oh, boy. So what you're saying is we have a chance. So you're saying so there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, we can go dumb and dumber. We'll go dumb and dumber. <laughs> if you want that, I could do that. <laughs> there is an equal chance that perhaps from the sky, a buxom blonde will appear and fall into your lap, and also containing the winning lottery ticket for Wednesday night. Again? <laughs> so. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, let me put it to you this way. All right, you, you've written a tax return for a client who has earned $100,000. They have spent $100,000. Well, uh, they learned that, did they earn that money through uh, ventures that are capital gains costs, or was it through? <laughs> yes, yes, Lewis, I don't know what you said, but yes. And then they don't oh, pay the government. And you know what happens then? Well, they could get ordered by the oh, IRS. Right. And then okay. go to jail. <coughs> and then get shivved in the guts <coughs> by a killer. That's what's going to happen to us in six days. I don't know about you guys, but that's very googly moogly. I need that little bit of soul because that's all I had left. <laughs> <laughs> I spent it all in a poker game last week. Yeah, thank you. You'll particularly keep it. Well, there's one solution. Wait a minute. We have to go with the containment unit. <laughs> well, was, ding, 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 ding! I'm oh, sorry. I was going to say we could simply release everything in the containment unit and our souls would be restored to us. That would be bad. Can we just that unplug it? Bad. <laughs> I think those are What's the Walter Peck doing nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to get to go into the containment unit. Do you know what this means? We're going to face all the ghosts we've captured and put in the containment unit over the past five years. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. goodness we just cleaned it out. That's exactly <laughs> right. Purge. Purge. Ray, how can we theoretically design a contraption that would allow us to be captured within a trap and enter into the containment unit? What if it, well, you know, it's, we'll have to go in the same way the ghosts do. We can, we can modify the trap to... to I volunteer to, to stay outside it and to put you all in. Corporeal energy. We can all jump into the trap and Janine can load us in. Uh, I I've done you. the calculations, but what would you say are the chances that uh, we would go in versus the chances that we would be all rendered into a fine dust? <sighs> Only 4,800. 4,800 is what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> By the way, did you know that you are, you, this is actually uh, a plot point in an episode of uh, The Real Ghostbusters, the cartoon? I would not know that. I think it was Slimer who won in, though. <laughs> I was really proud of my original idea. I you know, it good. is still original, too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think you were a little above that, that age range. No, I remember watching The Real Ghostbusters. It was actually pretty good. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know I have the containment unit there. <laughs> How do we get out? I'll push the button. I'm there for you guys. We'll have to uh, we'll have to find a way to signal Janine. Megan, I think we need you with us. Yeah, Megan, we're gonna need we're gonna need all hands on deck for this. If you don't go in, you're not getting your soul back. You know, every every person is gonna have to grab their own soul, their own piece of their soul. We can't bring it out for you. All right, all right. We'll have to signal Janine. She can she can drop the power to the containment unit, which will allow us to slip out. We, we have to fight off all the other ghosts to make sure that they don't get out, too. We'll have to sit by the door, let Janine drain, drop the power so we can hop out and then pop the top power back on before anything else gets out. In theory, the flow can be reversed. We have the mechanism for putting the spiritual energy within the contraption. In a similar ma manner, we can reverse the polarity to get out. But we can, can we reverse the polarity in a contained way? Can we just knock? <laughs> you know, that's actually, that's actually not a bad idea. You know, our essences will be contained in a metaphysical sim sim simulation. Actually, you'll, you, you've actually created your own dimension there. Yeah, yeah. If you think about it, you've created your own dimension. That's a pretty impressive scientific feat. Indeed. We could really bust some heads with this. And if we were to... In a spiritual sense. If we were to mentally not then uh, I believe that that would cause the smallest energy fluctuation, which Janine could pick <clears> up on, <throat> thus indicating when we could escape from the contraption. Told you all I was a genius. <laughs> As I recall, back in school, all you did was read off of my answers 
and ride my coattails. So who's the smarter person? You, <laughs> <laughs> you have a point. You you did prevent him from drilling his hole a hole in his head that one time. That's correct. So listen, he and then did, did, did it the other time too. It was a legitimate experiment, as you know. I would have succeeded if you hadn't stopped me. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> By the way, guys, I really do have the ability to give everyone bennies. Spend judiciously. <laughs> I took a common bond. Oh, I love it. All right, so... You, as, you, the of, as the heart of the Ghostbusters. Yeah, you are. Do you, you want to do an investigation to see if you can determine more of what you need to do to get in, or what do you want to do? Uh, I think that we need to continue to investigate. Yeah, see what else we can learn about. Yeah, let me take a look at the specs. Maybe I could have a second set of eyes to help it out. Hey, hey, Lewis, have you uh, have you tallied our our uh, <coughs> our uh, I'll do investigation. Called? Our bill from last night and entered it into the books. Mikey, investigation, Mikey. Thirteen. Roger. Twelve. Twelve. Eleven. I'll check. I'll check Spates. I both of them. I'll check Spates' category and see if they have anything to say about one. Corporal to not corporal transfer. What was that, Mikey? Seven. Seven. Let Adam roll here. Just because I got a four. I got a four. Okay, so as Winston is bored, because, you know, it's a scientific talk, he's, he's, he's polishing Ecto-1. And um, what do you got to roll? Uh, he rolled an 11. Vankman? 13. 12. 12. So the three of you all look at each other at once and are like, Maybe we could go in the car. And Egon realizes that the steel frame of the car might act as a way to encapsulate you and protect you from some of the uh, field, which is generated by the trap. Hey, I think the steel frame of the car could work as a manner to encapsulate all of us at once. Allow us to at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. To prevent the, uh, the trap field from the uh, molecularizing us. Lewis, that's exactly right. Actually, it, actually, what happens is it keeps you from re-coming together as one individual. <laughs> or, or five-headed beast, spraying in agony for about six seconds before we die of an eternal organ failure. Plus, we get to listen to good music. <laughs> the reception is excellent on that radio. I have to agree Plus, with it you. allows us to bring all our equipment with us. It does yes. allow you to bring some equipment with you. We can load up the car with the equipment. I don't know if we'd be trapped, but mm -hmm. proton pack, we can bring a spare slime blower, mm -hmm. uh, of course the goggles, and anything else in the movies that I can't recall. Uh, Winston, do you recall how we many space? particularly unhappy creatures there are in the trap mm -hmm. right now? I mean, how many of them really mm -hmm. hate our guts? Um, I'm going to go with all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of a study I, I, once, I read recently. Apparently, there are three million unhappy, unhappy assholes in the tri-state area. Really? <laughs> That's a Ghostbusters 2 quote, because I don't remember that one. This is where the yuppie quote comes in. People saw Ghostbusters 2 more than once. It's on TV a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've watched it actually more than once. It's, maybe it's an age thing. I, I, I kind of like All it. right, so Ray and E, uh, you guys give me some sort of check to determine if you can figure out some way to technically make this happen. Well, I guys. think I've got weird science. Uh -huh. I guess that would be a or repair, whatever works. Weird I, science I is probably more of it. Your knowledge, paranormal. Physics, yeah, you might. You can any one of those you want. You oh, can I offer. A plus two on that. Maybe yeah. Bob could offer you a bonus on that, or you know he could be assist or. Egan will support. Right? If if. Anybody else wants to make a check and say, look what a pretty thing I found in the book? I've got, an, I've got repair. I did repair for four. I have three. Well, uh, plus two, I got five. Then I got a five, so I support you. I got nothing. That's four. How much is the one? Uh, I think support is a plus one. Right? I, don't I, rolled, two. I rolled a seven on my repair, if that helps. All right, so two of you oh, have... Winston was helping us, too. Win, win, Winston and <laughs> and uh, Lewis. Lewis, uh, Lewis was helping by going over the, uh, the ledger. Yeah, fair. How much is this costing you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winston was able to assist with regards to saying, um, this is the trap I use, so we might be able to get some information out of here as far as where in the containment grid they were placed. Mm. Or this is the, the, the reading we need to look for. With all the bonuses, that brings you up to an eight. All right. With the eight, you guys determine how to modify the trap, you think. Wait, I got it, guys. I figured it out. 
What's that, Jason? If you microwave the fluff, it melts onto the bread so you don't ruin it. Don't talk about fluff. <laughs> Thank you for your thoughtful contribution, Bateman. I'll keep it in mind. I tried, you know what you guys are done. I tried to think of the one thing that couldn't harm us, couldn't possibly harm us. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I can't even every, You have still, to bring it up to me every time, don't you? <laughs> every time. Why do you keep a can of it inside the firehouse? That's what I want. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna interject for one second here. As originally written in my mind a year ago, Joel was playing Lewis Tully. <laughs> Jeff started the game as a red shirt who quit, and the following morning you woke up and there were two Vankmans oh. played by Jeff and Chris. You had to go in and re oh. retrieve the ghosts. That would have been fun. The intent would have been that they played off each other, yeah, but I since Joel couldn't make it in this. So, you guys start building your uh, contraption. That Mike, I'm, I'm playing the Save the Day theme, Mike, which you probably can't okay. hear, unfortunately. When they're driving around. You wheel in some large mirrors around Ecto 1. You got the goggles on. You got the goggles on. You got the trap underneath. This is like an 18 uh, when they build a weapon montage. Yes. yes. <laughs> And now uh, Ray is passing to Egon uh, a spanner. And Some tools guys, back and forth. He's using a blowtorch. You gotta use a blowtorch. <clears throat> with the welding cap on. I have my croissant in front of me looking for a good toaster. Bank, bank, <laughs> bank, bank, Bankman is standing next to uh, Janine saying, You're gonna put us in there? <laughs> you see, see different poses from <laughs> Asleep, awake. <laughs> Egon is calculating a slide rule and then. They're given a heated argument with Ray about something, and then the two of them seem to come to an agreement. Oh. Then they got, ah, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> They've been holding two wires together. <laughs> they lose now, they're not connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, uh,. A single travel, several mirrors is set up to capture all of you at once. Pressing the trap release, you feel as if all life is instantly stopped and every molecule in your body imploded at the speed of light. Total robotic inversal. <laughs> Total robotic inversal. <laughs> Do you put them in the trap? Do you put them in the containment unit or do you just leave them in the trap? Thank you. <laughs> Amy's... Uh, Janine's going to push in this containment unit. Alex, well, there's Emily, help. Is she going to beg for that? I'll give her an extra kiss later on. There you go. <laughs> that doesn't better be no kiss. I won't wake her, I won't wake her when I go to bed. <laughs> I'll try not to. All right, you materialize in what must be the containment grid. And you have... Hold on a second. Let me find you the appropriate picture. Uh, regaining your senses, you aren't sure if what you're seeing is real, imaginary, or somewhere in between. Thank you, MC Escher. This would be an MC Escher picture for those oh, who are listening. It uh, looks like a couple underwater, yet there's the sun and they're walking on the beach. Oh, wow. It looks like a pool, right? Yeah, it looks like a pool. Yeah, it looks, yeah, like, it looks like they're in a pool, but they're also in the <laughs> on a beach. Sure. <laughs> Don't cross the stream, Bob. <laughs> if you can cross the street by yourself, I'd be very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you go oh, for Bob to come out of the men's room? Bob's using the facilities. I ruffle, I'm ruffling through the. Uh, through the uh, You're not in the car. The car is gone. Did, oh, I thought we took the car in with us. You did. You thought you did. Oh. The car is gone. Um, so, are we all like sitting in the car, but floating? Like, as if we're sitting in the car? You all came in sitting in now you're sitting on your asses. Okay. On the ground. I hope we find some stairs. So Bob, right, you, you you arrived in the containment hey, field. Where do these stairs go? <laughs> they go up. Uh, so Bob, regaining your senses, you aren't sure if what you're seeing is real, imaginary, or something in between. Perfect. The car is gone. You're sitting on your butts in the sandy beach. But look at the picture. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I hate that shirt. <laughs> oh, oh, God. One, two, wow. three, four, five, nine, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Nope, got them all. 
We're good. Quickly. Wow, check this out. I never knew it could be like this in here. Of course you would like it in here. <laughs> Guys, wait here. I'm going to get my stuff. <laughs> you don't have any stuff. You do have your proton pack on your back. Okay. And we split. Not about the master. Sorry. <laughs> More of those too. That's yeah. fast. Do physics still work in this? Uh, quickly, mm -hmm. fall to the ground, Bankman. Tell us if gravity is working. Do you push him over? Yes. <laughs> fall to the ground. <laughs> How am I gonna do well? Bankman falls up. <laughs> he you gotta push it if he falls up to the up to the top of the water. Oh god. What the heck are you doing? Oh god, it's worse than I think. What the hell are you doing? What's I get down from here? <laughs> you got the laws of physics do not apply as we know them any longer. It's your pocket dimension, you made it. <laughs> this is horrible. I this spit is I spit amazing. up. To see if it goes down. <laughs> <laughs> he gets hit in the head with some stuff. Uh, no, um, give me a give me a check. Do what? Uh, uh, we'll call it a throwing. Are chapter. you trained in spit? I, I, actually, I actually, yeah. Two. Right in your own eye. <laughs> well, at least in and this pocket dimension, dimension, God still has a sense of humor. Guys, did we get our soul back yet? How do you feel? Incomplete. <laughs> How do I feel? Yes. With my hands? <laughs> It's over for you to tell me how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> Would I like some? No, we yes. Yes, back. please. <laughs> no, we haven't gotten our souls back yet, Lewis. So where do you go? I, I try and, like, do a flip in the air. I'm going to do it in uh, an investigation turn. No, no, a, a notice notice check. check. Give me a notice check. That's uh, your, your flip, so. you, you think you're doing a forward flip, but everybody else thinks you're doing a backward flip. That was a nice back flip you did there, Ray. It was like dogs and cats that work together. Mass hysteria. <laughs> A Vikeman has some intention that climbing the ladder might be the best way. Hey guys. Okay. Apparently that ladder really is there. My best guess is uh, we go to the ladder. You know how I know that? There's a sign that says climb the ladder. We should probably do that. That wasn't there two minutes ago. Exactly. It was there one minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> which, which way does that ladder go? It doesn't matter. Let's just climb it. It goes up. Mm. Oh, you. Yeah, you're supposed to say that. Actually, you can use any of the line. You can steal anybody else's yeah, lines. Yeah, you can use your own lines. You can use any line for them. If I remember, you can do them all. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. So we're trying to Wait, my move on. You what was that, Mikey? I said I already, I already asked Ray that line. <laughs> Mike did set me up. <clears throat> so, all right, you got to go first. What? Why are we doing Isn't this your trans dihuliki dimension no, no, you created? No, no, no. So somebody's got to go up that ladder first. Love you. Winston will go. Egon looks at Winston. <laughs> Ray looks at Winston. Peter looks at Winston. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis looks at Winston. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah. Yeah. So Winston... This is how they decide things. They just look at somebody. Winston climbs the ladder and disappears. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this a horror story? Because you can't have a black guy go first in a horror story. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little too cliche. Please turn my side of the bed on. <laughs> and you need to fix the door. Now, guys, uh, I I think at this point I should let you know something. While there is every chance that we are in the containment unit, it's also equally possible that our atoms are in the process of disintegrating and time has slowed to a very slow rate. And these are actually our last illusions before utter oblivion. I just thought that you'd want to know that. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You're all dead. Thanks, Dad. Did we have to trap any girls ghosts in here? <laughs> we'll, we'll be in bed by 10 o'clock. Oh, there was that Medusa <laughs> from the New York subway system. She was cute from the neck down. Yeah. And then there was that woman. She had a lot of good curves. The one from the library. The one from the library. Mm, she's good, just don't make her angry. <laughs> she can stack books well. <laughs> Trust me. Don't do with the stack books like that. <laughs> she was she was stacked. It's true. <laughs> we never did find out where she was from. Where and then there name? was that's true. If you can tell me where the last book stacking was, that's worth the, the original book stacking was. That's worth another Betty. I brought all the quotes today. Nineteen forty six in the Chicago Library? Tuskega. So no, nineteen oh nine. And then there was that demi goddess Hephaestus of Babylonia who had a blood cult. I could have messed with Hephaestus. She was. You could have checked out her Hephaestus. 
That's very clever, Peter. All right. So, 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 Winston goes up the up the stairs, up the ladder, and disappears. As soon as Winston's foot leaves the surface of the water, you can't see him anymore. Well, okay, we don't go up there, guys. Okay, now that could be perfectly normal. That's perfectly reasonable, perfectly normal. I'll go next, guys. Or, <laughs> or he's gone forever. Stick his head back down and say, guys, come up here, you gotta check this out. <laughs> Lewis starts walking up. All right, Lewis climbs up behind. You guys follow eventually? Yeah, yeah we yep. all have to go. All for one and one for all. No, and no. just because we haven't had enough pain yet, uh, this is the, this would be the, the standard MC Escher with all the stairs in different directions photo for those listening. Oh, God. Oh, what, God. Ray, Ray checks his pockets for his cigarettes. Uh, Ray does not have a cigarette. You're all on different staircases. <laughs> oh, God. When I was seven, I was on a carousel. I threw up four times. This is terrible. And then the ride started. And then the ride started. And then the ride started. <laughs> hey, guys, I'll meet you at the elevator. <laughs> you know, this really is not friendly to the handicaps. So, so after a few minutes of wandering aimlessly on the stairs, you all find yourselves once again in different locations, but not together. All on the stairs. All right, Venkman. Venkman, hold still. I'm going to try and get to you. Don't move. Don't worry. Not <laughs> going to. So I wander through and I look for Venkman. You, uh... The most curious thing occurs to those watching you. You walk sideways. You walk upside down, backside so right, I'm... upside in, inside out. And you arrive eventually with enough tries to be with Peter Beck, next to Peter Beckman. All right, yeah, everybody else, we'll stay here. You come to us. Keep walking until you get here. We won't fold. Ah, so you see what's happening here is that this is a majority rules perspective. Those who share perspective rule this particular part of the dimension. <laughs> all right, about 10 minutes later, you're all standing together. You wander again, once again, aimlessly through some of the stairs, and eventually come up a staircase into... The garage of the headquarters. The garage door is open, and you emerge onto the streets of New York City right outside of headquarters. Wait, I have the picture for headquarters. That's right outside, by the way, uh, Elvis Duran's studio. Does it feel weird? Where the hell? Oh, freaking. Weird picture inside of a picture. Inside of a Wait, I need to make sure this Al is real. Although it is a little darker than this picture. Mm -hmm. Well, the kind of like colors are a little washed out. I didn't figure it was those. I need to make sure what's happening is real. He slaps red. <laughs> oh! Did that hurt? Yep. Okay, it's real. <laughs> All right, so outside of headquarters, it's dark. Unfortunately, the picture I show is not. But, um, yeah. but strangely, you can see. Off in the distance on the top of a building, you can see a bright light. Ghosts seem to be coming and going almost like city residents on the street. Is that a hot dog stand? Mmm. So we've created, or you've created New York inside of this, where the well, ghosts are I think free to live? I think we've collectively created New York with our consciousness. If you, if you know a place well enough, then that is the place that you create when, when you have to choose an alternate Then dimension. that's the place you know. What's that that's right. Home? Wherever that's you go, place. there I you took are. That's the place. I just Googled up. It was a real Wherever location. You picked. Yeah. Yeah. It's but always it's in the last place not, you look. None of the movie traffic is there anymore. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's across the street from Elvis Duran. And you know, you know that when um, Yvonne, it's a real, actual real park. Uh, when Harold Duran yes. passed away uh, earlier this year, the the firefighters mm -hmm. at that very building put the Ghostbusters sign back out in honor of his memory. Oh, that's awesome! All I've got to say, if I ever have money lying around the restore car, I'll restore the station wagon. Start with Cadillac hearse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mikey's in on it. <laughs> oh, that's the point on that one. You, but you gotta get what it needs. New shocks, new brakes, brake pads, struts. Think, think about steering, it. Steering, <laughs> steering box. Outside of the General Lee, is there a more popular car? In the General Lee. Yeah. Out, well, outside of the General Lee, is there a more popular car than Ecto-1? The Batmobile would be the only thing I could think of. The Batmobile yeah. and the DeLorean, I don't know about Kit. How would, say rank them? How would you rank them? Which is number one? The Batmobile. I, I think maybe DeLorean. But then General Lee? No, Batmobile is definitely... Dude, it's the horn. Part. It's all about the horn. It's all about Starsky and Hutch. I would say top five. Starsky and Hutch. Uh, I mean, it's about bullet. I'm, I'm definitely oh, channeling yeah. my inner my inner hick when I say the general. <laughs> 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 Followed by the Batmobile. 
We do live in the valley, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Upper Shelton. <laughs> So I live in Huntington. Yeah, you're in Valley. Yeah, it's Huntington. <laughs> your, your last name is the same name as the street you live on. You're from the Valley. Uh, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> you don't hate a... me because I'm right. Huntington or not, it's still the same zip code. <laughs> All right, so you guys are on the street. Ecto, oh, by the way, Ecto 1 is in the garage. The garage door is open. People are on the street. Let's go inside. Do we see a version of... And, uh, and, Winston heads over to Ecto-1 to mm-hmm. check on his baby. And like I said, you can see there's a building in the... In, it's it's dark, but you can still see, and there's a building off in the distance. That looks strangely like Lewis's home. Oh, uh, uh, Central Park West? 55 Central Park West? Yep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can just have many for lying about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose that one? I got it. I got it. Is Janine in, in the... Uh, Win- in the Winston no. starts up... Winston starts up Ecto One. Ecto One starts running, and immediately everyone on the street turns into a mini marshmallow man and attacks. Throw up the door. <laughs> Throw up the car. <laughs> uh, Chris, deal some cards, please. Guys, guys, I think I think we have a problem. Guys. <laughs> Is it, is it almost Ghostbusters enough to make you guys have fun? Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah, it's good. I only need one, Chris. Well, at least we fought bigger before. There it is. All right, so... King five, A, seven, and L- six. Lewis, Adam, uh, Peter, Winston, Egon, and I'm in there somewhere. You are right mm-hmm. before Egon. Yes. Lewis. <clears throat> Did you... that happen once he turned the car on? Can you turn the car off? Uh, you do have your pro. Everybody has a proton pack. Am I close enough to run over and turn the car off? You were out in the street, no. And there's 15 or 20 marshmallow men around you. I'll oh, shoot at the blast. closest one. All right. Is this like a shotgun setting? <laughs> there were Hopefully, spray and pray. It's like, I'll shoot at one and I'll get the one behind it. If I spray miss. and pray? <laughs> Three. Do I have rocket rolls? Can I multi like the like four? Wait. Seven. Seven. Lewis. Tell me what happens. Lewis oh. aims. As he's aiming, he pulls the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> jerks to the side. Jerks to the side is the one that's actually closest to him. <laughs> Mikey, this is like an amateur using a gun. <laughs> Lewis hits it with the uh, full-on proton stream. It erupts into a... Explodes into hot marshmallow goo everywhere. Oh, God. Does anybody have some graham crackers? What would I tell you Does guys? everybody get covered in it except for Franklin? So far. <laughs> He's just got a little bit on his face. Winston's still in the car. Do you, do you know right now how I'm in a different dimension other than reality? Then I retreat towards the uh, Because there's garage. more of them? Because Lewis hit something with the proton pack. Egon, <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, who gave him that proton pack to start with? Uh, I, I guess that would have been me. All right, next up would be Ray. Ray says, one, two, three, blast them! <laughs> I like that one. No, 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 no. You don't want to know one? No, no, it's on the Jeff. Oh. And what I'm shooting is a D6. So Ray takes aim at the second closest one, the closest one that's still in existence. And he gets a four. Do we do damage? You don't even have to. Okay. It, it, it takes two. It has a two toughness, so. Yeah, I'm going to assume it, you know, you splatter that one as well, shattering goo all over. You are now beginning to be really grossly sticky. Hey, been there, done that. Next hey, up. With marshmallow, too. Next up. Uh, is it me? It's you. It's you. It's Spades. All right. Oh, that ace is weird. Uh, so they... It is, isn't it? Oh. I like it. It's just different. Little. Yellow. <laughs> The whole lot of them. Uh, he's like, oh, they're gonna get together. Race like, at who? Like race at Ray. Uh, as a group, and they. Would you like me to run? 
There's nowhere for you to run. In the car. This is <laughs> weird. Uh, yeah, this is, I'm going to call this agility check. They run through Ray. It's like five of them run right through Ray. That's great. Actual physical contact. Ray is completely enveloped in slime. Give me a jelly shack. Oh, God. What's the fuck Oh, wait. Yeah, she's got like a 60 pile of things. Five. Five. Ray does not fall, even though he looks like a walking snot. And he does take... Really that far away? Zero. <laughs> Seven damage. Wow. Ray's shaking. You have a toughness uh, plus one. I have C again. I drank too much. Yeah, but... Nah. It could. It, it could. It could save a life. Mm. Who's next? Uh, uh, eight comes seven. That would be. Hey! Peter! Thank you. Um, Peter Beckman. What do you think we should do in the grand scheme of things here? We should back into there. Turn off. Get everybody get in the vehicle. Into the vehicle. Get into yeah. the vehicle and go. Well, we should probably investigate the, 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 the firehouse first. I mean, if a piece of our soul is in here, why would we come here? Should we check the containment unit here, or is that a way to get back to... Probably the way to get back. Um, I think that's the way we get home. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I and then we knock, and then Janine will catch the difference in fluctuation of the energy, and we bring it back. Who's next? Uh, I am. I'm uh, going to get into the vehicle. Why are you always the pussy? Just shoot! <laughs> Why don't you shoot and get in the vehicle? I'm going to shoot and get in the vehicle. You do know um, that there is a high-powered... Proton cannon type device on top of the Ecto 1. I should have notified you guys of that earlier. Oh, course. no, of course I knew that. I did. Yeah, no, Wake Steve is waiting for you. I could have that. <laughs> right, I'm going to go ahead and shoot as well. Our, uh, our GM is wearing his t shirt that reads, When the DM smiles, it's already too late. <laughs> and he is kind of smiling right now. I've been laughing my ass off all night. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I forgot what the shooting was. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm gonna go ahead and take aim at a cluster of delicious. Mm, marshmallow delights. Paleo. <laughs> I'm going to work for my, my almond butter to go with it. Oh, look at that there. Oh, an explosion. Uh, seven. Ooh. Seven. So the cannon releases and it envelops a group of, a th a group of three marshmallow men, turning them into complete goo. And the smell of burnt marshmallows is starting to permeate the air. That's delicious. Any, any come my way? There, at the rate it's going, it's going to ooze into you soon. Oh, I pick a little up and I, I lick it. Hey guys, it's not bad. I right. told you microwaving is better, right? You notice how he's the only one who doesn't have an aversion of microwaving. And then I, then I get into Thank you. Did I mention that there's a possibility, much like the great myths of hell, that if you eat in the dimension of hell, you are trapped there forever? Yes! Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Forgot to mention that before I did that, did you? you got yeah, I guess I did. I'm sorry. Okay, appreciate it. Next time, yeah, a heads up would be nice. Sure thing. Who's next, know, Winston? Persephone had, had six pomegranate seeds, and she only had to be in, in, in Hades for six months out of the year. Yeah. My so how Winston. A handful of, of fudge. Uh, Winston fires up the cannon on top of Ecto-1. Push, pushes uh, Venkman off the top. Uh, yeah, He's trying to get in the door anyway. Trying to get in the door. He's like... <laughs> Fire away. This would just be my shooting hole, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Eleven. So Bankman targets another group of marshmallow men closing in. These four, there are four blocking the door. Winston One, targets them. Did I say that? I, uh, yeah. Oh, he meant Winston. Oh, Winston, Winston targets them, hits them, vaporizes a lot of them. Leaving a pile of burnt marshmallow in this case, oh, all good. around the door. Ooh, it's like it's it's when the marshmallow catches on fire. Yeah, really yeah. There's just a little flame uh, there. Crusty black. Ugh. All right, what we got? Easy on the black comments. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn them white yet, Mikey. Yeah. Hey, let's, you must be a Democrat. It's all about color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I'm on your side. <laughs> At least you don't own a basketball team. Who's next? Uh, I think that's Egon. Egon! 
I hypothesize. In fact, I'm, I'm quite interested to know what would happen if you trap a ghost within an existing containment field. He grabs his trap, slides it in front of the nearest ghost, attempting to activate it. Well, they're not ghosts. They're marshmallow men. Oh. So you can try to see what happens. I'm, I'm just saying that it's not like it's a free-floating phantasm. As an experiment, he's going to give it a shot regardless. Hey, Ray, that might be like fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. You know, the rivers and seas boiling. Oh, dude, give yourself another Benny. That was good. <laughs> awesome. 40 years of darkness. Plagues. He's got the Wikipedia. He's got the IMDB article up on his, <laughs> on his screen. I could possibly cause two universes to collide in the ending catastrophic result, but I might just capture a marshmallow man. And the interest of science really requires it. All right, so give me a smarts check. Okay. Uh, D10 smarts. No, Mr. Smarty Pants. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it is a two and a one. So I smell a Benny. A Benny gets <laughs> And we try one more time on the smoke check. Ah, five. I'll, I'll pick something old. The uh, trap opens, and instead of a bright light, it's a dark Watermelon. light. Ah. Watermelon on that. And it does suck the Marshmallow Man in, not in the way you're used to showing. Oh, dear. Ooh, I should have made it different. But okay. You got the Marshmallow Man, he goes in the trap. Oh, that's not good. Uh, guys, Did you want him in the trap? Guys, yeah. Uh, I think what just happened was kind of bad. <laughs> what do you mean bad? <laughs> I can't well, take the same Benny twice. You can't. I won't give it to you again. <laughs> well, you know, bad. Not bad in the way like you go for your dry cleaning and uh, they didn't get that stain out or it's actually a stain that appeared that wasn't there before. But more like you accidentally caused a spectral being to be transported to another plane of existence possibly harming innocence uh oh kind of bad maybe did you just transport them back to outside the containment unit i don't know thank you sir. let's not get hasty here but okay. <laughs> but it could be bad i'm good i'll get some pineapple does you guys any look. sense of what happened really um you guys completely puzzled why it was black okay He's guessing just because he was in the containment unit, things are kind of backwards. Okay. If I've been really smart, I would have things come out of the trap. That's why I said. <laughs> That's why I said, oh shoot, too late. It's never too late. Ah, there's no why. There's always jello. Chris, thank you. That was delicious. Is there anybody left to go? Uh huh. You mind dealing, Robert? Not at all. There's only three marshmallow men left. And we still haven't seen a joke. The cast of episode seven has been released. Seven. Oh, oh, oh. Adam's got a nine. Right you didn't know that was the, the, the cast was released for episode seven? No. It's seven of nine. What? Thank you, sir. Oh, oh no. Man. Ghosts are going first with the queen. What are you doing, Bob? And then it is Egon, uh, Ray, then Lewis, oh. then Peter, and At, Winston is left. Uh, as a group, they target um, Winston, uh, Ray, uh, Lewis. What? That's what I rolled. <laughs> and he was towards the car as, uh, as he was able, as far as close as he was. Yeah, but you weren't able to get in the car. So, uh, all three of them, once again, just like Ray slapped through you, enveloping you in slime. You take one damage. Uh, give Ray and Lewis. Give me a strength check. Lewis. In strength, okay. I'm untrained in strength. Just okay. Three. Okay. <laughs> Here comes Benny. Oh no, Lewis. Are you one? Strong man. Yeah. He's he's going two Benny so far. Oh boy. Seven. Strong, strong bull. There is an unmistakable tug trying to make the slimes smash you together. But you are able to resist the pull. Oh boy. Wait, I had a raise. Maybe it'll help us get closer to the car in time. I had a raise too. <laughs> pull us towards the car. Alright, next up. Uh, wow. Bob. Bob. Uh, Bob. Egon. Okay. Thanks. Egon uh, holsters, uh, or forgets the shot, whips out his proton pack, and then very uncharacteristically says, 
Eat slime! Scumbag! Vampires. Do you gonna have a big bait slime? They're not eating that. Uh, he gets a four. He got hits with a four. The marshmallow man explodes in a ball of white sticky goo. Usually it's pink. It's a little better. Hmm. Next up. Uh, me. I'm shaken. This I get a plus one for. Mm -hmm. That's spirit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good spirit. They're the heart of the group. Damn. I thought it was supposed to... If that, if that sounded like too many dice, it was because it was. Mm. Okay, I got a six so far. Another ten. Mm. So I can act on my turn, mm -hmm. and I will try and blast the last three. I'm assuming they're There's two left. Move. There's two left. You have to point out, no, they're not together. No. You may target one. Yeah, I'll target one. What the heck? Hmm. Four. I forgot to change the picture. Adam, scroll up. That's crazy. Maggie, scroll up. If you only have a white screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, That's great. what they look like from our, our vintage point, don't It's a giant, mar it's a picture of the marshmallow man. He looks pissed. He does. Wait, you know what it is? It's just a fuck marshmallow man. <laughs> in the movie, he says it with a completely straight face, I was like dying. Mm. The delivery was so spot on perfect. It's just a puff marshmallow. It's right up there with about the twenty. Hey, it's not a funny line, but the way he says it. I handed the three you to bring Twinkies tonight. Nobody brought Twinkies. I, I was missing bowling. bowling. I wish I had thought of it. <laughs> His hint to me was somebody should bring Twinkies tonight. They make them. They make them again. Oh. Epic fail. I should take Benny's away from you. Who's next? Well, I should have brought Miller, right? Uh, Egon's dying. Ray is next. He just went. And therefore, we go to uh, Peter Benton. Thank you. Take out that last one. It's all me. I'm going to shoot. You're good. No, you guys. Come on. Oh, wait, how come we didn't have Winston turn the car off? It doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter. Okay. I'm going to taunt him. Yeah, why not? I got this. I got the skill. I'm going to use it. Mine's still plus. That's plus two. Unless you're doing two actions. You're going to taunt and shoot or just taunt? I'm just going to taunt him. Oh, okay. So plus two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm saying you. 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 Bag full of beautiful, loving marshmallow goo. I can't wait to have you inside my belly. Mm. Is that a tantra? <laughs> no, that's a, yeah, well, that's I think it's trying to creep him out. Creep me out. You're scaring me. Uh, eight. Eight. So that is a. With your plus two? Yep. He is shaken. Shaken. He's shaken. He oh. falls apart. Uh, literally. You taunt them to death. Shaken. Yeah, these guys don't. Uh, it's actually a wisp, and uh, let me see here. Where was it? There's a thing where basically it says, even a shake and knocks this thing out. Oh, look at that, huh? Talk comes in handy. You know, they say the pen is mightier than the sword, but I'd still prefer a proton pack. Ah, look. If your pen's three foot long and has two sharp edges. Hey, my pen is a very impressive two... You got three. Is that what's room together in college? All right, you know how big it is. <laughs> I know how big it is. Let's not talk about it. It reminds me of uh, what's it? Remember gym class at college? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next stop. You know, guys, if this place was any more dead, we need a coroner. <laughs> that's okay. Our building's on a corner. I think Let's that's go inside. He's a coroner. I think he just got a, I think he just got a Benny. Isn't that a quote from the movie? I don't know that's a movie, but you can have a quote. You can have a buddy for that one, Mikey. <laughs> well, do we want to walk or do we want to drive? Let's check out the firehouse. All right. Our souls may be in here. I find that would be entirely too convenient. <laughs> I agree. It would be bad for the plot, but we should do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so in the garage, you see Ecto-1 loaded up. Uh, the rest of the firehouse is abandoned. Empty. Yeah, it is a two. You're right. 
curses I should have taken out. I spent way too much time watching these movies. <laughs> no sign like of kids. We love them though. No sign of us. We check the beds. We check our lockers. We check our beds are boxes. unmade. Your your uniforms are um, covered in slime and the thing. He got checks the containment unit. And yeah, it's just you don't want to. Can you put that trap in the containment unit? It's an interesting question. Let's see. The uh, your trap does not fit in that containment unit. Oh. Because you're trapped from the other one. Is the light permanently green? And then it switches to no, it's red. It is? Oh, you, <laughs> I, it's, it's the opposite of what you would expect. Okay. okay. Is the, enter, does the containment unit re- register as full or partially full right now? Uh, it registers as active. You know what's very interesting, Ray. I would imagine that it is entirely possible that one could travel inside of this containment unit, which is in turn contained within our containment unit, begging the question of how many thousand infinite cycles of containment Actually, some, somebody exists. give me, one of you two give me a knowledge check. Pick one. The physics, paranormal. Physics I'll do paranormal. Five. There could be infinite levels of containment units. Six. Containment. You contradict him and believe that it could also be the reverse portal home. This could also be our way home. Mm. That's an interesting point, right? Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, you're not there? And in, in fact, when you pause and think about it, you almost feel a tug toward the containment unit. Mm. What, what about? I'm sorry. Jack's talking. Yeah, I know. You know Actually, he's I, doing really good. It's 10 o'clock. He hasn't fallen asleep. He hasn't talked very much. You know, Ray, happy. when I pause and think about it, I almost feel as if there's a tug towards the containment unit. Yeah, I feel it too. Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how Ray would say it. <laughs> Your definition of wild is completely different than my own. Or most other humans, I think. Now, it's still very interesting. I think this may be the way home. I think you're right. You know what? We better leave the area. We don't accidentally have Janine try and pull us out. Yes, I agree. Where should we go? Let's let's gather let's go back to, together. Let's get in the let's get in Ecto One. We'll head to the site of the uh, of the uh, molar molar break. You saw you when you would, looked outside. You had seen a building. You had seen Lewis Tully's building with a or bright. We can go to the, we can go to Dana's old building. It's funny, I call it Dana's building, and I changed myself to say it was Lewis's building. Cause Lewis I know, and then, but it's, it's Dana's building. I, I'm only doing it because Lewis is here. <laughs> hey, Dana's guys, you know, I live there, too. Dana's moved out. She's been gone for, uh, for a long time. <laughs> Scary. Dana's old building. <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh, oh, what was his name? I'm trying to think of an architect. Oh, well, Shandor, the Shandor building. Oh my god, you get a Betty for that one. <laughs> you should almost get two for that one. <laughs> you know, maybe we should go check out the Shandor building. Even though we did turn the older back, the, the, the metallurgy, metallurgy, metallurgy and uh, configuration of that building still focused the PK energy of the city. Yeah, you're, by the way, that, Benny covered that one too. <laughs> no Adam's homework and life lessons of having, getting to watch Ghostbusters with this kid is definitely paying off for this weekend. Everything he has done, he's born for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shallow life. I, I think that sounds entirely reasonable. All right. right. One off. Uh, yeah. What, what do you think, Bankman? Yeah, no, I agree. Right. Yeah, Bruce. Lewis, you know Dana won't be there. All right, forget it. I'll wait here. Uh, and you guys get what needs to be done, and I'll meet you right here, securing the area. All right. You want to guard? Yeah, okay, you... said, we, we nodded him, and he gets some okay. <laughs> You all hop in Ecto-1 <laughs> once again. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help but play it again. <laughs> it's so good. It's saving the day again. Driving through the new, t- new streets of New York. You get turned around a few times because it's slightly different than you're in New York. But eventually, you do find your way to the uh, the Shandor building. The Shandor building. You know, this is slightly different than our New York. There's yeah. less potholes. It's cleaner. This is 1980s New York, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and did you see Times Square? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I only noticed half the number of pornography stores there. Pornography. Yeah, get back home quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't get back home quickly. Thank <laughs> you.
You know, this is sad, because right now I'm thinking, aren't you glad you decided to go there? It wasn't our idea. <laughs> All right, so you arrive at the building. You can see there's uh, some activity on top. I hate this place. I have a picture of the building with the thunder and lightning as shown during Ghostbusters 1 when they arrived. I'm watching the ground to make sure it doesn't move. The ground does not move. In fact, it could not feel firmer. <laughs> does anybody else have a tremendous sense of deja vu right now? I just hope the elevators work this time. Mm. Oh, don't remind me. You hop in? 24, please. Bing! A little elevator music comes on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this is so much better than climbing 30 floors. There's a bug problem on... Oh, 12. Floor 12? 12. Okay. That's got to be some cockroach. <laughs> I'll take the next one. Bite your head off, man. Well, we're going to finish this early. I may have under, under, under plan for this tonight. Quit throwing a good random counter. <laughs> I don't have a good random counter. <laughs> All right, so you arrive at the top. I love how it starts out all creepy, and then it's just, it's perfect eighties electrono. I think this is actually um, from the from the there's a video game that was that came out a couple years ago. This was yes. very good. Very much in the, in the thread of, thread of Ghostbusters. So. Yeah, that's the Temple of Gozer. That is the Temple of Gozer. Obviously. Uh, on the roof, you see ghostly images of yourselves being drawn toward the door. I'm going to wait for Chris and Bob to finish talking so they can hear it. <laughs> on the roof, you see ghostly images of yourselves being drawn toward the door. Toward the, toward the door. You can feel their exhaustion as they fight against whatever is pulling them through the doors. Fight it, Peter. Fight it. What do you elect to do? Deal initiative. I think we'll deal initiative. I'm gonna, um, I only need one. Don't, don't we have to cross the streams? The door swings both ways. My door doesn't swing both ways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a student of both Sumerian and Babylonian Seven, history, three, history does nine, tend to repeat itself. Acer. King Mike, Queen. Ooh. There are jokers in there, right? So it'll be Peter Venkman, then Winston, and then the ghost. Or whatever's there. Gotcha. Or whatever's there. Could be terrible. All right, so who's first? Uh, Peter Venkman. Peter Venkman's first. I hope you don't. All right, I'm going to walk into. Oh, so who's dragging him? Do we know? Do we so you you see you each see a uh, a ghostly replica of yourself. Yeah. Being. Drawn toward the door, pulled, sucked, vacuumed, whatever you wish to use for a term. Okay. It looks like they're fighting that, but they are exhausted. Like they've been fighting it for a long time. All right. It is your turn. Let me go. I'm going to pull out my proton pack. Say, get your hands off that damn good-looking guy, and take a and take a uh, a shot into the heart of the vacuum suck. Okay, so you're shooting into the, you don't have to roll. You're shooting into the door. Okay. Winston. Egon, Egon, I don't, uh, Peter, I, I'm not sure if that's exactly a wise, I, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Winston. So you yes. see, you, you see part of yourself being drawn into the door. Venkman is elected to shoot into the door. Um, the choice is yours, what you do. I'm going to attempt to tackle part of myself. Okay. So you run over. And try to embrace yourself. Yes. And your soul is reunited with itself. Reunited. And you feel 100%. You feel like you haven't felt in a long... It feels like you haven't felt this good in, ye in years. Yeah. Peter says... You feel whole. I should have read that book. Shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you should have, Peter. Yeah. All right, so... It's my turn. It's the door's turn. Mm. The door. <laughs> it's smiling. Where's your bucket of bennies? Where's your bucket of bennies? Ray. I rolled a one. Ah. Ray, your spirit is beginning to suck into the door. Give me a spirit check to see if it would stand to suck. Oh, if it would stand to suck. Uh -oh. In fact, everybody should give me a spirit check. Right. Ray is at a minus one because he was the closest. Well, who's got a plus Except two for Winston. Check, Winston is safe. Mike, who's got a plus two spirit check? 
Oh, yeah, you do. Five. Oh, I do. Mikey doesn't need it. Mikey's already whole. Yes. Apparently, I don't need it. I'm you, safe. You suck. Lewis? Five. Good made it. Five. With the minus one, you still made it. Yeah. Five. You made it. Benny, that. Two. I'll take that, Benny. Five and a four. Five. Five and a four. Your spirits hold on a little bit longer. You don't think they're going to last another next turn if you have to make the check. It's a minus two. Excuse me, oh boy. So you better hope you go before the door, Bankman. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, yeah. We got King. We have Mike already went. We've got Jeff. Jeff uh, Lewis. Lewis. I'm rushing. Right. The, uh, Lewis races up, grabs himself. That's a good cocktail. Re, re, rebonds with his lacking, oh. missing part of his soul and almost feels like a man. I feel like, uh, kind of like, maybe Nelson Muntz when they were, uh... I feel like the flow of a taxi. <laughs> no, they, they were, they were, uh, riding, uh, boats. In Never Never Land, oh, and they had yeah, that. Bart sold him his soul. Bart sold his soul. So he didn't have one. His soul and Bart's soul were rowing. Yeah, Bart, yeah, Bart yeah. was just going around in a circle because he was just by himself. And everybody else was with their souls. <laughs> I remember that. One. I remember that one. It's a long way to five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I better start watching Simpsons. By the way, just FYI, they had the lowest ratings that they've ever had. Well, they have been out for like twenty you know, years. Five hundred. Almost twenty-five years. I saw I saw an infographic. There was an episode of The Simpsons 20 years ago where Marge says, "How would you like it if people saw your life and was making fun of you 20 years later?" And so supposedly that episode aired 20 years ago last Sunday. <laughs> Which is interesting. All right, so All right, who's, uh, Lew Lewis reunites with himself and almost feels like a man. Uh, I give myself a big old hug. Yep. I think the next is Ray. Ray gives, a hug. Ray, Ray gives himself a special kind of hug. He, he feels almost as good as when he got slimed. With funky. Slime. Oh, funky. you guys are Oh, the, the good slimes. Funky. I yeah. love you guys. I feel, oh, I, I feel groovy. Egon? I'll have you know that this does not constitute masturbation. And then he, he goes over to himself and hugs himself. And reunites. All right. Himself. All right, Chris, um, deal everybody a card. Better hope you're first. <laughs> What's that smile on your face for? Because I have no idea what happens if the door goes first. Uh, this happens all the time to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got about five seconds. Adam, you get a twosie. Bob's a niner. These are all low numbers. Jeff, the king. Oh, okay. That's not good as a four. Oh, no. Bankman got a four. Mike, Mikey? This is it, uh, queen? That's a jack. And a five. Okay. Oh, no. The, the door is going to go before Bankman goes. Win Winston, you are up. Is he Win Winston's first? Or is uh, Lewis up? Winston's first. Yep. And then Lewis. Winston. So, uh, every. Right, Lewis is first. It's Lewis, Winston. Then Winston. I'm sorry, Lewis, for Lewis first. Everybody has their soul except for Vankman. I guess. Who Anyone are you still. Push me into myself? Are you still shooting into the door? Uh, at this point, yeah, I've stopped shooting. Okay. Lewis. I go over, grab Vankman, and give him the biggest push I can. You, you have a, you're small, aren't you? Your strength is like a minus. My toughness is a minus one. My strength is a D four. Oh, <laughs> okay, roll your D four. He's six squares away, which is what your run would get you. Six. You push him one square. Oh God. We. Oh, you have small frame. How many squares estimated? He's six squares away. He's now five. Five. Oh boy. Winston. Okay. There are two solutions. Winston. Um, I know the other thing. Does Winston think that he could grab Fankman's soul? No. You can only you think you can only reunite with yourself. Okay. So You were you were drawn to yourself and had no no interaction, no no feeling toward the others. Is there any possible way that I could pick up Vankman and run to his soul? I will allow you a strength check. And a success will move him one square, a raise will move him two squares, that is the most you can move him. He is five squares away. We should just work together instead of one person at a time trying to pick him up and push him. There is, is a it, second there is a second solution as I stated. It's the Do I think it's possible that with the with my knowledge of uh, my proton pack that I could ensnare part of him? His soul or him? 
his soul. Wow. I had that considered that. Mike, oh. Mike, give yourself a Benny. That's what I was, That's thinking. What I was thinking too. Yeah. And go ahead and try. Okay, I'm going to what, attempt to... What are you, what are you, you going to shoot me? Sh- shut up, Vagman. You've wanted to do this your whole life? Winston. No, that's me. He's wanted to shoot. Oh, uh, Winston, it's crazy. a great idea. Shoot him, Winston. Well, are you, shoot him. What do you, what's the probability of this yeah. ending well, Egon? It's Seven. It could be bad. Seven, you it successfully could, ensnare him. On the door's check, on the door's turn, you will have to make a spirit check um, at a plus one because of his snare. Now, can, can Winston drag hey. his, using his uh, proton beam, no. drag his spirit onto Peter? No. He's holding him there. Okay. Who's next? Who's what? Uh, Is Winston on the queen? Lewis. So now... Lewis went, Winston went. Uh... Oh, nine, I Egon. guess. Egon. Egon. Right. Egon. Uh, Egon knows that he is not a strong man. That in a I'm arm wrestle a with uh, Lewis, there is a chance that he actually uh, might lose to Lewis, even. So, uh, choosing smarts over uh, strength. He eventually pushes him? He whips out his proton pack. Whoa, hey! And he fires Woo-hoo. at the ghost of Bankman as well, mm. attempting to put another layer on Bankman's spirit. I've always wanted to do this. He rolls a five. It also, when staring, Vankman sp- remain the, 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 the fragment of Vankman's soul. The, the shard. He seems to be pretty pretty well stayed put now. He's not he's not losing ground anymore. Who's next? Did you say stay put? Stay put. Oh, that stay would be put. you. Me. The door. The door. So you have to give me a spirit check at plus two. <laughs> he's not gonna fail. Yes, it's, it's a one. He's, he's got a lot. Enjoy. He's got a lot of bennies. <laughs> and, and I really can't uh, six. My six. The bankman's spirit holds steady. Does not slide back closer to the door. He could have been turned into a god. Who goes to the door. Or he could be the next destroyer. I'll take it. You let me go. Wait, it's my turn. It is your turn. It is my turn. I'm gonna jump into myself. Okay, well, there's two proton beams on you right now. So I need Egon and Winston to make a smarts check to disable them at the exact same time and not have the spirit slide so that Bankman can get in. Sounds good. Winston, are you ready? I'm ready. Right. I'm gonna... oh, I exploded on my one of them. I got a two to one. Bob, even though Bob, reverse exploded. Bob burned off his face. Even though uh, Egon is uh, just Fair as smart floor. as Ray, he, he filled that poorly. Uh, and he accomplished a five on his smarts check. You guys managed to... Winston, on three. Uh, that's what, that... I, what I say, three, two, one, and yeah. then go. So it's not three, two, one, and then go on one. I mean, three, two, one, go. Would and you guys just do it? And then go on go. Wait, 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 so... Hold on a second. Yeah. Wait, when, when that, is that on weapon? go we go, or is it after you say one and then go, then we go? No, not in between. When I say go, I'm that already is running. When, that's when we go. <laughs> that kid's running. <laughs> Thank you. Thankfully, effort. we're not in the real world, so it's taking okay, forever. I got this. I got this. You got it. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. You know what I mean? dives in, wraps himself up. And he feels, he feels funky. <laughs> like the first time he got slimed. Like the first time he got slimed. That's it. Uh, next time we'll try to communicate that in advance, Winston. I would have accepted crossing the streams also to make the door swing both ways. And then it would push the spirits toward us? It would, yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. That one. seems like too much of a final solution, though. <laughs> You're at the door. You gotta cross the streams. Come on. Yeah, how do we not cross the streams? You know that yet. Hey, Ray, what do you think happens here if we cross the streams? Total photonic reversal, which has already just happened. So what's a reversal of a reversal? Total protonic. Reversal. Reversal. I agree. Propulsion. I think that might actually get us out. Of I here. feel like we've done this before. I think if we cross the streams, we might actually just exit the entire containment unit. 
But we'd all have to do it at the same time. Mm. How will we ever coordinate that? Well, perhaps a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice working with you, Peter. Yeah, it's the line that I'm supposed to know, isn't it? It's the other side, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it might be the other It's been a pleasure, Bankman. Say it. I love the city. I love the city. <laughs> I love the oh, that's Tom, you're right. You you cross the streams? We are crossing the streams. And you are all instantly catapulted off the building? Yeah. Landing on the ground <laughs> by Ecto One. Taking eight points of damage. Uh, no. That was really stupid, I, <laughs> I agree. That was pretty stupid. All five of you are on the ground as you come to and remove your shaken, because you're all shaken, I'm assuming, at an eight. I think, Lewis, did you get damaged by that? Did you get damaged? What's your... I have a minus one, so I assume it starts with six, so it goes down to a five. Wait, wait, what's one? Oh, did you not calculate it? It's, um, it's okay. It's all right. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't need to take a one. Shake it. You're divided by two plus two. As you come to... Oh, the terror dog. That's Zool. Oh. It's a Zool hound. It's, that's Zool. Um, I read up about this. I didn't notice it. Zool has shorter horns. So it's, the, the terror dog itself appears to be female. It's ortho terror dog has longer horns. Oh. Getting down to the street, the red eye, you see red eyes staring at you. Wait, time on this. Lewis definitely, loved every minute of Lewis definitely did seem horny. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, was that the first time you ever had... Remember when Danny says, when Danny says, I want you inside of me. He says, uh, it seems like there's already plenty of people there. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> so getting out of this... Yeah, you know that's coming. Red eyes stare at you from all directions. A Zool hound steps into the view and you know he isn't alone. Oh, God. Hey, where's Dana? I think my coat would throw it on top of him. <laughs> there is no Dana. Only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> You're at you are at uh, Ecto One. Uh, drive. <laughs> Grab the proton cannon. All right, who's driving? Who's got the best shooting? Winston. See. Winston's our best driver and our best shooter. Yep. Yep. Do both. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do both. Yeah. Even at a minus two, I think we're. Anybody else have driving? I have a D four driving. Good. That's better than my D zero. <laughs> I, I'm a resident of New York City. I've never driven a car in my life. <laughs> All right, Ray jumps behind the wheel. Winston, you would man the cannon. Yep. The rest of you, I'm assuming, are hanging out windows and doors, firing proton packs as needed. Enter the chase scene. I didn't study this at all. I read it up on it. It's really hard. <laughs> so we're going to modify this. Right? Yeah, we're going to deal with it. All right. Um, who is rolling driving? Who's driving? I guess that would be Roll me a driving skill. Versus my agility, because I'm running. Oh, wait, I have a whole ton of that. This is really bad because I rolled a niner. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got a four. I rolled a nine. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that I get to act before you, and you don't get to act against me. At all? You don't. The other guys do. Oh, okay. Or you can roll again and try to upstage me. I don't know if I can upstage a nine. I'll give it one shot. What the heck? <laughs> you're one. You're the other. You're like thirty. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it like three shots. <laughs> I'm up to five. Let's go. One more try. There it is. This is it. Come on. Explode something. Besides us, Walter. Alright, really, this is my last one. <laughs> That's it, here we go. Good throws. I know, right? I'm catching them I'm getting a lot of practice tonight. <laughs> here it is. Yeah, I'm a five. Yeah, Alright, so. <laughs> the first, uh, let me see if I have the right page here. The first, mm, the old card. No, that's not the right one. That's not the right chart that I want to read, though. Mm. What cards no? right, you don't need to draw a card for everybody. Just you guys and the monsters. Yeah, we, is fine. Yeah, we act as a group. <clears throat> so one card for us? One for us and one for him. 
Yeah, baby. What'd you roll? Joker. <laughs> Alright, so you guys get to all act as if you have a Joker? Wow. Does that mean that my five becomes a seven and it doesn't matter anyway? It means you can act on you you're still the driver. It means that I'm 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 trying to find the uh, crash cart, the crash rules. Because he's gonna run into the car because he gets to act before you she. Whatever. Guys who are you guys can go ahead and go anyway. Um, Winston, Lewis, Egon, Fankman can all act now from the car. Uh, Lou, uh, Winston is manning the cannon on the top, if I believe correctly. Hey, hey, guys, there's something I need to tell you. I get car sick very easily. I'm more of a cat person anyway. <laughs> all right, here's what I wanted. You're more of a cat person. I love your vaguenesses. They're great. <laughs> I'm not even really trying that hard, are you? <laughs> this is where I really wanted Jeff and him to be Vankman because they could have played off each other so well. But at least Wait. Chris is awake. Yeah, but Jeff would have been awake for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all your eyes are You could have done it. You didn't have to include Lewis. I... He wanted to play Lewis. Oh, I told, I gave him his choice. I told him what the choices were. Lewis is fun. Though. Fun. Lewis is fun. Yeah, 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 two bankmans. <laughs> you guys have been playing off each other all night. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, any order you want. Winston, go. Uh, can he fight? I mean, yeah, you, you 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 can you can target a a, a, a Zool Hound. As a, a, okay, Ray, Ray, you all hop in the car. Ray speeds away, <laughs> heading down the street. Out of out of alleyways and intersections, Zool hounds are chasing you. Oh, multiple? Yes. The glowing so red eyes. Winston's gonna there. shoot at one of the Zool hounds. With the cannon or your proton pack? No, with the cannon on the car. It's a proton cannon. It's oh, basically okay. it's, it's souped up you. Yeah. He's gonna attempt to destroy. Ten thirty. We're not gonna make the eleven. <laughs> Jeez, you were that tall before. He, uh, ten. Ten. Oh, wow. So you shoot, you're shooting hits with a raise? Are we riding on a moving vehicle, so we get a minus two to shooting? Uh, you button. get a minus two to shooting, he still hits with a raise. Wow, that's amazing. It's, it's Mikey. Yeah. There's no amazing about it, it's Mikey. It's you should just expect that. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so uh, what is it, it does 2d6 damage? Uh, make it 3d6 because you have the cannon. Plus your D6 from the race. So 4D6. He likes that. I hear a lot of dice. Mikey's happy. Yeah, it's like he's a road again. <laughs> Josh, if I was my salt, where would it be? Downstairs? In, the fr in my fridge upstairs. Top shelf. Or in the door. You keep his fridge in your, your, his He just brought a whole bunch of stuff. Bring them both out. One's in the door, one's in the top shelf. 21 points of damage? Wow. 21 points of damage. Oh, good. So with 16 dice. Let me see what he's got here. He has a toughness of 10. Ooh, oh my god. Um, so he is shaken. What did you say, 16, Mikey? No, 21. Oh, 21. So he did 11 over. So the first four is the shaken. So that brings him down to 7. Well, 10 is, sh 10 10 is shaken. shaken. 10 14, is shaken. 18. So he's, he takes two wounds. Two wounds. So one drops out of the pack. Wow. 15 others per trap. It's impossible to count how many there are. With a raise, that would be, these things are pretty hard to take down, huh? Yes, sir. You're not, you're not meant to take them down. <laughs> We're meant to slow them down. So maybe you, you Winston should have been Maybe we should aim for other things than them. You're up, Bankman. Excellent. All right, is there uh, anything around that I, you tell that, me. That I can notice? Let me see. Uh, Billboard. No, I'm, I'm looking for more like uh, oil tankers. This is Streets of New York. Streets of New York. Right? Yeah, they got fire, 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 fire hydrant. I'm There's no gas stations in New York City. Yeah. Look at, looking for a fire hydrant, maybe. Okay. That I I see you, you I'm going to look for a fire hydrant that we're, that we're driving by. I'm going to target that with my shooting. Okay. That's good. Let's see my shooting. Plus one for your original idea. Mm -hmm. Plus one, I'm, 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 I'm benevolent tonight. I'm easy. Plus one, plus two for the Joker. By scale five. Uh, three, plus one is a six. Six, you see a fire hydrant. I take aim, I shoot. <clears throat> you fire at it. What is it, 2d6? You need to do damage to it. I'll trust uh, oh, you. Know, you know, a fire hydrant needs to be turned on. Just by running over doesn't turn, doesn't open it up. 
But in the case of no, Ghostbusters, it's a fucking waterfall. <laughs> they, they, they do, right as a terror dog goes, goes to top it, you get it? So it's just, you know, actually, what happens is he, is he takes off one of the side things, yeah, and, it, and it shoots out, knocking two of them that are coming out of a side street out of commission into another building. Nice. Yeah. Nice work there, Bankman. If uh, go- busting ghosts doesn't work out, you could always consider a career in animal control. Well, I do like playing with my hose. I have to be a fire hey, oh. Nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next up. Uh, what's going on? Any bus well, he, uh, I guess Egon goes. Egon. Egon, Egon will uh, uh, notice a uh, fruit stand nearby. Sure. And uh, he will take aim at the fruit stand. Ooh. <laughs> Remember how they're all cute? They're running on the street. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, don't drop it. And he got a four. Four. Egon hits the what he thought was a fruit stand. It's actually, since this is the containment unit and the world's a little different, it's a meat stand. Oh dear God! Oh, nice. <laughs> so it distracts the terror dogs. Yeah, it's a, it smells yummy. Sorry, Zool hunts. It smells yummy. Does it cook them? It cooks some of the meat. Uh, a couple, three of the Zool hounds stop for a snack. You know, remind me, if we ever survive this thing, that I should explore proto-jerky. I think we could make a killing back in the real world. Right. Well, if you don't get killed now, I'm driving. What do I need to do? You're good. You made your check already. Okay. You failed to check, actually. Can we shoot some of those marshmallow guys and make them stick in it? Lewis! Uh, Lewis aims at the base of a light post. Oh. Okay. To crash down, hopefully, crushing... Luckily, he's aiming at an area where there's three light posts. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> he aims at the middle one. That's good. <laughs> it's like when I'm drunk, I'm shooting. Four. Four picking my date. Minus two for the movie platform, plus two for the Joker. Knocks the. Uh, you hit the light post. <laughs> give me a. Awesome. Give me two d6 and tell me the two dice you the two numbers you come up with. Six and one. That's the one's never latched. <laughs> it's Ghostbusters and doors are randomly opening and closing. <laughs> what Lewis didn't notice, because you rolled a six. We need a panel. What Lewis didn't notice, because you rolled a six. What are always in the streets? Big, giant tanks of? Taxis. Uh, wait, are there two guys who are moving a plate glass window <laughs> across the street? In now? Acme Anvil Company. There's always, if you look around New York City, there's always... Big tanks of gas. I forget if it's oxygen or something. Uh, okay. That are that are strapped to the sidewalks. They pump it for some for something or other. I don't know it's, exactly. It's for hairspray because it's 1980s mm-hmm. and something's got to fulfill the supply. Of Lewis, Lewis hits this. Oh. Give me your driving check. <laughs> yeah, they use it for. I forget what it's used for, but. Interesting. I, I don't go to New York City on purpose, so. I'm not a big New York. I hate New York City. There's so much stuff down there, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's near a city. It cost it cost sixteen times more than it costs here. <laughs> well, oh, you're gonna dink, are you? <laughs> okay, so we got six. And explode. Eight plus two is ten. All right, so the massive explosion generated by this veers the car off to the side. Somehow Ray maintains control. Winston, Winston, give me an agility check. Winston, agility check. Oh, excuse me. God, I needed that. Well, what Four. Are also Winston the manages way to way hold on to the cannon and not fly Jesus. off. <laughs> Winston you know, manages to have... At, at, least, at least three dogs are vaporized as a result of the explosion. Wow. Very nice. No, as a result of the implosion. Oh. <laughs> well done right. there, Lewis. Total prophetic reversal reversal. Did you... Lewis, did you mean to do that? I was Did I? Did I mean to do it? Did I do that? All right, so everybody yes, already went. Saw. Yes, I did. Ray, I need your driving check versus my strength. Uh, yeah, I need to roll again. Or my original check. What was your original check? Five. You're going to want to roll again. <laughs> Why am I driving? Because. Uh, you, don't need to, you don't need to spend a penny to start. <laughs> well, good thing you got all those bennies. And now I feel like I need to go back and get some. Uh, <laughs> okay, six plus. 
All right. Sense. So, right. you know, bas basically a 900-pound creature crashes into the side of Ecto-1. Oh, he just kept rolling ones. He kept shaking it again. Because all from back here, it looks like, like the center died. Of like the dots. You know, uh -oh. when you have the dots on the dials, it's yeah. like, why does it keep rolling ones? <laughs> <laughs> Some, somehow, Ray maintains control of the vehicle, despite the massive creatures crashing into it. Well, I just, you know, as it hits me, I kind of go, and I'm up on the sidewalk for a little bit, and then I bring it back onto the street. You're good. Yeah, Chris, can you shuffle those really quick and deal two more? Yeah. Except the other two are included in it. You're supposed to shuffle. Yeah, you gotta shuffle. Do the shuffle. Oh, I did already. Oh, you guys were. He did. I watched him shuffle. Jinx. Just two? Yep. That's not good. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's not good. Well, hey, we had a reverse last time, guys. Alright, so the creature once again, another one crashes into the vehicle. Wow. Good luck. I've got a bad feeling about it. One. Did you roll a one? No. <laughs> one of them was a one. Four? Roll 2d6. A six and a one. So seven. Uh, the vehicle skids 1d4 left to right in the direction of the failed maneuver or away from attacking damage the car stays together you can keep driving in it oh. <laughs> That's good. Hey guys the car stays the car stays together right? we, lost a, we lost a bumper and now that instead of giving the number two it's giving the number one on the side winston hey anybody want to yes. try to grab that hubcap <laughs> it's two hours a piece for those you're up again buddy gonna have some recommendations on winston uh you know. again? what was that it takes aim again? Yep, it is still it is a minus two now. There is no joker to negate that. Okay, so it's a minus two, so he takes aim with a minus two. You're shooting it uh, at a you shooting left. are you shooting at a at a Zool Hound or something else? Well that, that's what I'm saying. So how, how many Zool Hounds are behind us? You can't count. There's That'd be cool. It's it's dark. You see red glowing eyes everywhere you look, but you can't tell, you know, they're in and out. If I if do I think if I shot this into the road could I make a deep enough line that they could fall into that they couldn't jump out of? Uh, you might you might be able to slow a few of them down, but she wouldn't be able to stop the group. It's only like four lines deep. I wouldn't be able to stop the group. Maybe, maybe you would give Adam a plus two on his next dive, driving roll if you succeeded in a good in a, in a good roll. In a good roll? If you got a good roll, it would give Adam a plus two. You How about up. let me let's first let's uh, let's take a quick look around. Let me do a notice check. See if there's anything that I see that I think uh, could cause a big enough um, sure. distraction. Distraction or you know, I mean, obviously, I don't think this thing could take down a building behind me. So I don't know. Since the buildings in New York. Well, you know what you should do is shoot a car, make it flip over on a couple. There are no cars. The That's streets are abandoned. I never said that. Well, no, because they had. What'd you roll for your notice, Mikey? Uh, oh, hang on. Band of people. Band of people. A twenty? Tell me what you see. What? What'd you get? A D twenty? What? Mikey's like, it's see, a city. I hate cities. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I see dead people. <laughs> no, that's that's a different movie. No, it's just right oh, a different movie, right? Um. <laughs> How about, uh, oh. I see, I'm, assu I'm assuming I see, you know, we're driving down the street, right? So there's should be all sorts of cars. Are there any, like, tractor trailers or anything parked in the way? Not in New York City. You, you do see several large SUVs. Dump trucks. Dump trucks. That's die hard. Two. Hey, Fire trucks. Crash somewhere. Three. <laughs> For the vengeance. <laughs> what was that, Mikey? What do you want? Um, all right, so if there's, a, if, there's, if there's, like, a big enough, like, box truck or something like that. Like I'll give you a box truck. truck. That works. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to like um, shoot the box truck, blowing it back down the street, like at the at the Zool Hounds. Sure. I like pushing you guys to figure something different out. <laughs> Seven. Seven. You uh, you blasted the truck. A giant hole opens kind of behind the back wheel. It falls. It falls. 
flipping toward them, detouring, some, taking up half of the street. So detouring almost all of them over to one side, slowing them down, giving Adam an effective plus two on his next driving roll. Thank goodness. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, their strength is a D12 plus two. <laughs> no, you're not. The point is for the chase scene. Yes. <laughs> next up, Peter Beckman. Cat guy. Do you want us to roll for you? So you to... Yeah. No, I have to think of something. Uh, Lewis. I'm up. Bankman's lost. He needs to figure something out. Go ahead and figure something out. Bankman has gone bye bye. What do you got for us? All right. <laughs> I, still I, think I, I think we're going to look in the back or look behind us. Yep. See if I can hit anything that's going to slow them down. They're all veered towards one side of the street. Yep. I'm going to aim at a vehicle that's on that side of the street. Okay. Possibly top it over on them, knock it over, hit the tires, crush okay. them backwards. I'll use my shooting skill. Uh, Aim at the biggest vehicle around. I don't think you have any vehicles the size of Barnes Lewis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hit a spider. You hit a spider. <laughs> now for a 10? You want a 10 on your shooting roll? I exploded both dice. You don't get that up together, you know. <laughs> it's kind of a seven. It's impressive. And it's minus two. It's still, it's still a race. Yeah. Just as Ray rears the car, Lewis jerks to the side, accidentally hitting the button on his to activate his proton pack. No. <laughs> the uh, discharge from the proton pack hits a. 1984 El Camino. <laughs> well, I was thinking, I hundred percent was thinking El Camino. A new Wait, car. Mike, you have one of those? <laughs> no. Funny, have El Camino. Blowing it into the street, one not now effectively hurting the the uh, the Zulans into a giant S shape that they have to go through, adding an additional plus two, oh, so it's plus four to raise roll. Wow. Egon. Egon has a burst of inspiration. He uh, hands the handle of his proton pack over to Bankman and says, I've got an idea. And he tries to reverse apply using MacGyver and Mr. Fixit the energy portion of his proton pack to the exhaust of the vehicles, thus giving it a temporary uh, but very powerful nitro burst that will give it a quick burst of speed. Oh, dude, that's awesome. You can have a Benny just for dreaming that shit up. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. Oh, thanks. Because you're something in my pile anyway. Hey, Ray. How do you like to go fast? <laughs> Got it, Egon. Okay. Uh, minus two. That's minus. <laughs> what, are you trying to hit something? No. He's you're not trying to hit something. So it's, you're in the vehicle. I don't, I don't think you, you'll give you minus one. For weird science? Yeah. Two. Okay, minus one. So to that was a fail. So that then you gave me. <laughs> right back to me. And I'm going to try again. Oh, that's explosion on the six. I can never lie. Whoa, Double boy. explosion on the six. So 16. 14, uh, 15. 16 minus 1 is 14. 16 minus 1 is 15. Uh, it's not a spreadsheet. I know you have trouble without the spreadsheet to tell you how to do the math. <laughs> so Egon believes that he has managed to yeah, hook up the energy component of his proton pack. Okay, everybody give me a vigor roll to see if you snap your neck. <laughs> <laughs> An additional plus two, you're a plus six for your driving roll. Three. What is your plan of attack? Yeah. What are you planning to do? Well, you want to do a bigger roll he so we can break our No, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> What's your plan, Bankman? Uh, You've got five minutes to think about it. Excellent. I'm going to hit a uh, milk truck <laughs> that was parked on the side of the road Ooh. <laughs> to explode it to see if they'll drink some milk. Okay. They're dogs, not cats, Bankman. They like milk. But they just had some meat, so... Yeah, you know, milk is thirsty. Five, two great tastes. Minus two is a three. Six. Twelve. Sixteen. Minus two? Twelve. Uh, Fourteen. Wow. Bob, Spreadsheet for him, too. Bob, where are you? <laughs> Sixteen minus two? Three. Calculator. <laughs> All right. I hit the, I Even better, you're passing, you're passing a pet store that's getting delivery. Oh. 
Oh. With doggy food. Oh no! Oh, and you blast you them. Missed the milk truck. This you missed the milk truck. truck. You hit the the delivery truck. Doggy kibble, kibble goes kibble everywhere. Bits and bits and bits. Bacon. And you got so get, congratulations. You've all succeeded. You have a plus eight on your driving roll. Wow. Excellent. I hope you don't ace. I did not ace. Okay. In fact, I have an eight. Plus eight. That, no, all I have is an eight. That's what I rolled. I gotta roll my. I gotta roll it anyway, just because. You do, because if you beat me by a raise, good things happen for you. So plus eight to your roll. <laughs> he rolled a one. No. Ten plus eight, eighteen. Eighteen versus my eight. Wow. I think I hit with a raise. Ray hit, puts the pedal to the metal, turns into the corner, pulls the emergency brake, the car slides out, takes off like a bat out of hell. Did I lose a hubcap doing that too? Two. One of the ten rolls. <laughs> Uh, and you guys managed to make it. You you, you you get a, a large enough lead on the well, on the hounds to outdistance them uh, and make it back to the containment. HQ. This is my last one. HQ. Oof. You arrived at HQ. I assume you closed the garage door behind you. Yes. So. Now listen. <laughs> and I go and lock the door. And we close the door. The pedestrian door. We yeah. close the, the pedestrian door inside the garage door. Gentlemen, this is how we get home. I didn't explain this sooner, but in theory, what you need to do... We all run to the containment unit and start knocking on it. <laughs> Actually, physically knocking will not do it. In your mind, you have to imagine what knocking is like. A little heavens, a little knock, 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 we have to all imagine knocking at the same time. If any one of us is not crystal clearly imagining yeah. what knocking is like... <laughs> That'd be a Benny if we weren't almost done. <laughs> we can't get home, all right? Because I would totally be thinking about something else. Benjamin, what are you thinking about right now? Have you got it? Huh? What's her name? <laughs> yeah. Thinking about Jim Winston, Winston, have you got a vision in your mind of knocking... Why is there a All right, well, one of us door. didn't think of it. Okay, let's do it again. On the count of three. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ray, not again. Ray. What are you doing? Are back on? <laughs> I'm late at Camp Wakanda. One, two, three. Three. Nothing happens. Great. Maybe we could, maybe if we right. get some physical, physical knocking. Let me knock physically and just time your thoughts with the knocking. Ready? Go. Clock. Knock. 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 Can we send a knock. pulse? Knock. 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 You're going to hurt your knuckles soon. We can turn the containment unit off and on. Let's look at the size of the containment entrance and think about things that are that size within the area. You could open the containment entrance. Lewis, why don't you go back to thinking about numbers? <laughs> What's the size of the containment? Like, what's the... You open the door? Yeah. To look at it? Like an, like a, a Lewis door. opens the door mm -hmm. and is sucked in. <laughs> and gone. Oh, guys, either that was good or that was really bad. Yeah, I was going to take a look. You're gone. <laughs> oh, and, and when I stop pounding, the, when I stop knocking, the pounding continues. I'm <laughs> outside. Oh, that's good. The door closed, by the way. Lewis, Lewis gets sucked in. And the containment door closed. Well, guys, either uh, you're experiencing a delusion and these are the last few moments of your existence before obliteration, or uh, we are about to return back to our existence. Winston, open, open the door. Winston, do you open the door? Get a containment field? Wait, who's going to open You're muted, Mikey. Who's going to open the door? Egon looks at Winston. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>, uh, <laughs> Somebody's got problems. And Winston looks back at Egon and says, "Of course, Egon, I'll open the door." <laughs> and Winston is sucked through the the, uh, the trap receptacle as the door closes, and he's gone. Getting sucked through. I'll go next. Ray, Shh. Peter. Well, it was a pleasure knowing you, Bankman. I'll take my chances. What's behind the door, rather than those fanged, red-eyed beasts out there. Bankman goes through, leaving Egon knows. alone and his creation, the containment grid. A dimension created by the genius of his mind. I helped. You did. <laughs> well, this was not fun. <laughs> and he opens the door. And sucks in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
TBC. The end. You're you are returned back to your what you think is your home, but you never know with sliders. Oh, I get to watch that. <laughs> Guys, either I think this is good. We've either made it home or we've been transported to another dimension, which is so similar to our own as to be virtually indistinguishable. Al, why am I a woman? <laughs> Are these real? <laughs> and with that, there it is. Wow, that was a short night. You guys, you guys rocked through almost everything I threw at you pretty quickly. All right, everybody's got to take some food right now. Another meal. I'm reading the newspaper. Jimmy Carter is the president? <laughs> I thought this was 1984. Who's Bill Clinton? I have no idea. Clinton. Yes. I mean, I saw six pennies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ran off on 20 quotes. <laughs> Guys, I was thinking I might try a different career. I have this idea for a computer program called a disk operating system. I think it could be very big. Too late. Oh, wait, you're <laughs> Jimmy Carter's president? <laughs> I hear IBM is just giving those away. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's time to go host a, a TV show. <laughs> I wish our phones worked in the car, because then we could go from one... You know, I had an idea about that, but that would never make any money. Some sort of mobile phone technology? <laughs> Ridiculous. Who wants to get in touch with you all the time, anyway? <laughs> yeah. You know, when I'm in the car, I want to be alone with my thoughts. I don't want to talk on the phone. Me, my so, like, Spanx, you do that with your left hand or your right hand? It depends. Is it, a, is it an even day of the month or an odd day of the month? I like to keep them well trained. <laughs> it's a scientific experiment. I've had going since I was 11. <laughs> uh, well, gentlemen, I'm sorry to wrap up so early. I know, it's funny. It was very good. Good job, Josh. That was, a, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I was upset I didn't put more time into my character sheet. <laughs> 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 Is that the first time anybody ever said that? <laughs> Jeff spent about 30 seconds when he got here and made a character you sheet. You don't see that in 4E, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> in 4E, I don't have a character sheet. I had 124 hours. Guys, I'll episode. be back in a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> I can go make a new character. I'm going to make a level 1 character. I'm going to make a level 3 of it. <laughs> it's Jeff's turn. And five hours later, it will be Adam's turn. All righty, I'm stopping the recording now.